we have the keys to open that little building here. The damn control center. So let's see if we can take a peek at what's going on in there. Let's go. It's about time we fix this damn thing. Yes, it is. Oh, okay. So this is overgrown with weeds and stuff. So let's have a look around. All right, so we got a hatch here. Do I look like a mermaid to you? The turbine room is still flooded. There must be a way to clear it out. Okay, so we got to clear out the water here. So surely we should be able to do that with one of these switches over here. What's this? Oh, and that's how you leave. What's this Will here? There be another lever behind this? Oh, please let there be. Okay, let's open it up. Ooh, secret lev- Wait, that's not a lever. It's a hand pump. No, oh, it's a hand pump. Double action hand pump. Not exactly a lever, but a close second. I really hope it's not connected to TNT. Um... See if we can use this. Maybe I should stop the water from flowing in before I try to pump it out. Okay, so maybe one of these levers over here does that. Lunchbox. Let's take a look According at that. According to quantum food theory, whatever is in this lunchbox could be simultaneously both cooked by Mike and not cooked by Mike. Impossible to know until I open the lunchbox. Well, let's open it. A fossilized banana. <laughs> also, ooh, note. Ooh, a note. What does a note say? This is the story of three brother builders. Even now, their story bewilders. While one of them reached fame, the two remaining were covered in shame. The first rushed onward and dug too far downward. The second brother, much more careful, dug with caution, was thus more successful. At last, the third considered digging down, but found no fame or riches leading him to give up. Okay, I'm, I'm not sure if that's for a puzzle or something. Okay, we got levers here. Oh, I think it, I think, okay. All right, so I this think this, yeah, this is for this builders. puzzle here. Even now, their story bewilders. While one of them reached fame, the two remaining were covered in shame. The first rushed onward and dug too far downward. The second brother, much more careful, dug with caution, was thus more successful. At last, the third considered digging down, but found no fame or riches leading him to give up. Okay, so yeah, I think this is going to be a reference to this puzzle here. These levers. So I think I got to pull this one down. Woo! And let's see. Maybe this one all the way down? Because I think this is like the second brother or something. And the third brother would be this lever. I think. Alright. So how do I... How do I remove the water? Hmm. Let's see. What do you got here? Control panel. Let's... There's no way I can fit that in my pocket. Can we look at it? This weird contraption has got to have a use. Ooh, levers. All right, so I think that's pretty much all I can interact with. Um, I use the double action hand pump. Maybe I should stop the water from flowing in before I try to pump it out. Okay, so I think there's another switch that I can mess with. It's the control panel. Let's have a look at this note this again. This is the story of three brother builders. Even now, their story bewilders. While one of them reached fame, the two remaining were covered in shame. The first rushed onward and dug too far downward. The second brother, much more careful, Dug with caution was thus more successful. At last, 
the third considered digging down, but found no fame or riches leading him to give up. Hmm. Hold on, I have I have notes on this. But yeah, that that note's going to be a reference to to the the position of those levers there. Let's see what I got here. Okay. Let me see here. Maybe I gotta pull this one all the way down. This one to the middle. There we go. Floodgate closed. Turbine section isolated. Please initiate drainage process. Okay, so now we can drain it. I'm surprised that, it. that there's, there's that a hand pump to do this. to do this. This is gonna take forever. Yeah. If only Linda was here, this would be done so much faster. <sighs> I wonder what she's up to. Meanwhile, Linda waits patiently at the workshop, or... Oh, I can't read that fast. God, I'm bored. If only Betty were here. I wonder what she's up to. Wait, what? No way! I, I made the whole Mariachi Ninjas thing up! I must be imagining things. Mariachi Ninjas? God damn Even it, more menacingly... Ow! Damn it, girl! If you wanted me to stop, you could have just said so. Uh, no, I, I didn't. Don't bother. I got the hint. I'll stick to rhythm and blues. <sighs> That's what you get for trying something new, Hank. Oh, that tank. Jeez. Just hit him upside the head with a wrench. All right, done. Now let's go down there and... Do you want to try Water Drain Premium? Wait, what's this button over here? Well... In case of emergency, press to activate the automatic drain system. <laughs> you gotta be freaking kidding me! Why didn't I see this button before? Well, maybe you should try reading. Oh well, let's turn this thing on and get the hell out of here. Okay, so now we just gotta go down. So now we're in the dam. Um, I wonder if I can look at anything here. This turbine looks fine. No obstructions. Let's hope the solution doesn't involve finding an industrial sized Garrick. Industrial sized Garrick? What's that? Let's go over here. What is this? Ugh, I hate it when people dump their trash in the river. At least have the decency to throw it in the sea. I know I've got deep what? pockets, but they're not that deep. Is that a body? What in the world? Okay, well. Let's see if we can pull this lever. I guess Ooh, not. Look at the size of that lever! I'm sure this bad boy can turn the turbines back on. Okay, so we just gotta figure out a way to turn that thing back on. Let's go up here. I wonder if that's a uh, reference to portal. That little sign there. Wow, this game looks really nice. Who's this guy? An MP. Hold it right there, civilian. You're not supposed to be here. How come? It's, uh, private? Don't you mean classified? Uh, 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 yeah, that. You don't know what's going on in there either, do you? Negative, civilian. 
I'm perfectly aware of everything that's going on inside our top secret military base <laughs> where we hide dangerous and important stuff from the masses. Oh, okay. Well, I'll just go check it out myself if you don't mind. Uh, sure, go right ahead. Uh, hey, quit trying to mess with me. I have a gun. Let me in. Why should I? Because... This guy, this guy here doesn't seem too smart. So they got a corporal here, uh, protecting the front gate. So let's see, uh, what can we say to this guy? I work here, I'm in charge of this base, um, we're pals. Well, I can say the president sent me. Um, let's go with we're pals, I want to see what that does. We've been talking for what, one, two whole minutes maybe? Considering how things have been recently, that basically makes us besties by now. That makes total sense. Okay, oh, come it on worked. Oh, who's this guy? Private, what in blazes do you think you're doing letting a civilian into our base? Oops, looks like I got you in trouble. If you guys don't mind, which I'm guessing you don't, I'm gonna split. Not so fast. Exactly who do you think you are, young lady? I'm Betty. And you're... General John A. Hartman. What are you doing wandering around this deserted area in the middle John of the John A. Night? Hartman? What do you mean deserted? There are soldiers the singer? everywhere. This is obviously some kind of top secret military base. Military base? I don't see anything like that around here. <laughs> <laughs> nice try, General. Just wait until I tell my mom what you guys are cooking up here. Are you threatening to call your mommy now? So I wonder why this guy was just hiding behind this rock wall here. Makes no sense. Apparently this guy's a private, even though he has a corporal rank on him. Um, let's see, what can I choose? Of course, my mommy kicks ass. Of course, my mommy kicks ass. Her name is Eliza Barrett, and she's the mayor. You better watch out if you try anything with me. It might not look like it, but she cares about me. Deep down. Way deep down. Like, unfathomably deep down. But she totally does care. A bit too much information, but I appreciate the honesty. <sighs> what can I say? Ours is a complicated relationship. Regardless, aren't you a little young to be wandering around by yourself at night? How old are you, anyway? I'm... I don't actually remember. But if I had to guess, 20-ish? Hmm, 20 years old. Anyway, you don't have clearance to be on the base. Leave at once. Wait! I have a lot of questions and I'm not leaving until you answer them all. <sighs> I wonder what I'm they're hiding man, there. Baby, but let's make a deal. I will answer three questions and then you'll leave my base and let me get back to work. Three questions? Deal? So we gotta be smart with this. Um, yeah, that seems fair. Yeah, that seems fair. Okay, so, well, we, we have three questions right here. What do you guys know about the town? What do you know about the town? It's a beautiful town. Yeah, I don't know about that. But I'm asking, what do you know about it? Like I said, it's a beautiful town. Ah, maybe you're hard of hearing. What do you <laughs> know about the town? That was three questions. It's a very beautiful town. My turn. Being so far from town, don't you think your brothers and sisters would be worried about you? Okay, um, what brothers and sisters? Well, it doesn't seem like we have any of those. Why would they be worried? I don't think Linda ever worries about anything. Hmm. Um. <laughs> let's go with this option. Ew, I hope I don't have any of those. Ew, I hope I don't have any of those. What a thing to say. You should be grateful to even have a family. Look, pal, siblings are a parent's plan B. They only exist in case the first kid is a screw-up. 
Besides, I hate sharing the spotlight. That's the saddest thing I ever heard. Definitely your mother's daughter. Speaking of your mother, do you think she'd remember any siblings you might have? Maybe, but it's just me and my mom and all the family photos I've seen, so... Okay, why do you guys blow up the dam? Why do you guys blow up the dam? I can neither confirm nor deny our involvement in the dam incident. And even if we did, what makes you think I would tell you any of that? Hey, I asked you nicely. Doesn't that count for something? If I don't report this to mom, I'm totally getting grounded. Hey, my taxes pay your salary, so technically, I'm your boss. I wonder if this, this, this works. Hey, my taxes pay your salary, so technically, I'm your boss. Then, as my boss, you should have already read the report I left on your desk. Crap baskets! Oh, well, that didn't my work. Turn. So, how about your father? Give an honest answer, mess with, mess with, let's mess with him. Look into your heart, General. Don't you see the truth? It's you, Papa! What? How do you... Mm, <laughs> what makes you say that? <laughs> oh, he doesn't even... He's not even sure. He's messing with you. You should see your face, man. Anyway, why are you asking so many questions about my family? Family is very important to me. Uh, ahem, during the interrogation process, very informative. What are you guys doing in that top secret military base of yours? Did you think that one through before asking? What part of... Top secret, do you not understand? It's not that I don't understand it, I'm just curious. Hmm. Let's go with the last one. Oh, that kind of top secret. Oh, that kind of top secret. I'm glad we understand each other. My turn. Does your mother know where you are? Um, of course she knows. Uh, does your mother know where you are? Let's, let's spin it back on him. Does your mother know where you are? My mother is dead. Oh, uh oh. Shoot. Uh, nice weather we're having tonight, don't you think? That's fine. Let's not change the subject. Do you know the trouble you'd be in if your mother knew you were here? Yeah, about that, I don't think we're very close, Mom and I. Then let me give you some advice. When all of this is over, you must cherish your moments together. Promise me you'll do it. What's in it for you? Promise! Okay, geez, I promise. And that's three questions. But you didn't answer anything important, and... Now, you'll be doing yourself a favor if you go back where you came from and never return to this base. Aw, come on. Just one more question, please. Godspeed, Betty. Keep an eye on your mother. And please, be safe. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Okay, so there doesn't seem like there was really any point in talking to those guys. They didn't really give us any information. Can we talk to this private? What's the army doing here in the middle of nowhere? Apparently top secret stuff. I still have questions. Everyone in my town lost their memories. Everyone in my town lost their memories. You've got to help us. Oh, good lord. You guys lost your memories too? Oh. Wait, everyone here lost their memories too? So he knows what? something about that. No. <laughs> The military never loses anything. Oh my god, this has to be bigger than I thought. Maybe the whole country is affected. The dam blew up. The dam blew up! What? Why would the dam blow up? I don't know. Somebody must have planted explosives around it. Hmm, I wonder who around here has that kind of firepower. Oh, yeah. Uh, the know. army would have that. Wait, are you saying we did it? Well... How dare you? When has the U.S. military ever been known to blow stuff up? <laughs> the Japanese would beg to differ. Ooh. Too soon. Okay. We can't communicate with anyone outside of town. 
We can't communicate with anyone outside of town. You wouldn't happen to know anything about that, would you? Your town lost all communication? Where'd it go? It packed its bags and left for a nice long vacation in the Caribbean. I've heard Cuba's quite beautiful this time of the year. And people say I'm dense. You know what else is dense? Lead. Is that a threat? You can't threat a civilian. If I join the army right now, will you let me in? I don't I don't think that's how it works. If I join the army right now, will you let me in? Sorry, kid. It's a little more complicated than that. What if I told you I had an itchy trigger finger and that I loved shouting at people for no reason? Then I'd recommend officer training school. Okay, let me distract you from the fact that I shouldn't be here. Wonder if we can just sneak past this guy. Let me distract you from the fact that I shouldn't be here. Sure thing, ma'am. Always happy to help. Okay, there's a huge kraken in the lake. There's a huge kraken in the lake? Come on, kid. Do you think I'm stupid or something? Yeah. Well, yes. But I'm actually telling the truth. Pfft. Everyone knows krakens don't exist. Yeah, tell that to poor Smokey. <sighs> Gone, but never forgotten. Okay, this firefighter's been saying really weird things to me. This firefighter's been saying really weird things to me. I can't help you with that. Look, why don't you just go? No, listen, this firefighter I was telling you about, he keeps breaking the fourth wall. <laughs> yeah, and aren't you doing that right now? Yeah, you've been doing that. It's contagious! We need a biohazard containment unit. I wonder what for. Where is this need going? A biohazard containment unit. Radioactive fallout? No, it's even worse. Oh, come on. What could have been worse than that? No, really. There's this guy I know who drank some whiskey from Mike's and almost pooped himself to death. <laughs> Just imagine what the actual food could do to you. <laughs> the food can't be much worse than what the army gives us. Even a goat would need that slop. That goat you're talking about? Mike's probably cooking it as we speak. Damn right I am! <laughs> Never mind. You don't strike me as someone who's easily distracted. What? You'll have to convince me to go away. I have a gun. Okay, that's pretty convincing. Yep. Yeah. Alright, well, he just threatened us, so let's get out of here. I think I can pick some stuff up here. Alright, so we can pick up this stick here. What you doing? You could say this tube is outstanding. I think that's a reference to a TV show or something. Can't remember what. Oh, we can look at this vulture. That's one pretty stiff vulture. Doesn't look like we can mess with it buddy there's a big difference between mostly dead and all dead and this one's all dead okay and we can take a look at the base and apparently there's a covered object here I wonder if that's a UFO or something telekinesis isn't one of my powers <gasps> or is it no, it's not. Okay, how about we just look at it? Wow! Where'd they find a blanket that big? So they're hiding whatever that is. Wow, what's a military base doing here? Do they have a permit? I don't, Mom's not I don't think like the this. military needs a permit. Okay, let's get out of here. I think we just need to pick up that rod there. Let's get get up out of here. All right, so now we got to go and find that body and push it down. Apparently, um, how do I? There we go. That's how I open up my inventory. A little push here. Damn. I'm supposed to be fixing things, not breaking them further. Uh, 
bigger push there. Oh my god. <laughs> it is a body. I look at Ugh. it. I hate it when people dump their trash in the river. There's a face at least there. A decency to throw it in the sea. Wonder if they explain this later on in the in the in the game. There's a dead body here. No one seems to care. And gone. Did that look like a body to you? Sure uh, did. Who dump a body in a lake? Okay. So I think I can pull this lever now. Ooh. Look at the size of that lever! I'm sure this bad boy can turn the turbines back on. Okay. I've isolated the turbine section, I've removed the obstruction. All that's left is pulling this lever. This is gonna work, right? Yeah, it should work. Surely this works. Well, it's not like this place is gonna blow up twice in the same night. But then again, it already exploded once, so I guess it could blow up again. Hmm. Oi, Betty, pull me. Is it talking now? Who said that? It is I, the lever. Pull me now, and all your troubles will be gone. Why does it have an accent? Will the generator get its electricity back? Yes. Will my mom be super duper proud of me? Yes. Will this hurt like hell? Yes. I mean, <laughs> no. Well, it's not like pulling a lever ever hurt anyone. And there it is. <laughs> oh my gosh. You had to say it. Oh. So, what's going on now? Everybody's eyes are turning blue. Strange. Speaking of nature, I shall return to my assigned duty of watering Chuck. Farewell, unorderly lever. Ow! My arm! Why, lever? Why did you hurt me like that? Sorry, Betty. It's in my nature. Wait, what was I doing? Oh, right! Woohoo! I fixed the dam! Now let's get back to town and tell Mom. She's gonna be so proud. Okay, so yeah, we, we fixed the dam. The power should be back on. Well, that was weird. And I'm a talking lever. So the lever doesn't even... That thing doesn't even know. The re-examination situation. So I guess this is the next chapter. I can't remember which chapter I'm Mom, on. I'm back. Either two or three. Mom? Mom's gone. Wait, hold huh. on. Where did she go? Is that a picture of Harry Truman and bust of Abraham Lincoln? Hey there, uh, Chuck. Have you seen Mom? Says nothing yeah, in plan. Yeah, thought so. Maybe I should stop wasting time talking to ferns and start asking real people. Okay, we gotta find our mom. Chuck the plant. Oh, so this is Chuck. It's Chuck the plant. He looks like he needs some water. They seriously need to take better care of him. I wonder if we have some water. Nope, we just have a plunger. Okay, what can I interact with? I can mess with the light switch. This picture here, a bust. Very important looking documents. Let's take a look at that first. Whoa, top secret documents. I probably shouldn't read them, but a quick peek never killed anyone, am I right? All right. A peek, sure, but becoming another file on her desk? No, thank you. Oh, so we can't even look at it. There's no way I can fit that in my pocket. Hmm. I thought there were only supposed to be two of these in the world. A resolute one in the desk. lighthouse and one in Buckingham Palace. 
It's kind of strange that our that our the mayor's office looks like the Oval Office. It's a bust of Abraham Lincoln, probably sculpted before that night at the theater. Oh. President Lincoln, always full of surprises, and lead. <laughs> Damn. So what does this button do? What is that? Let's have a look at it. Necronomicon? What in the world? Necronomicon Ex Mortis. The Book of the Dead. Looks like a cookbook to me, but the ingredients are pretty peculiar. Let's take a look at... Oh my... Necronomicon Ex Mortis. Should we be touching this? The Book of the Dead. Looks like a cookbook to me, but the ingredients are pretty peculiar. Hmm, I'm not big on books, but something compels me to peek inside this one. Let's take a look at it. Necronomicon. Ooh, okay, so... This looks scary. Um... I can't read any of this stuff. Can I click on it? Warning, nothing good will come to whoever uses this <laughs> book. Some of these spells might be copyrighted in your country. Consult your attorney before using them. Known side effects of using this book include, but are not limited to, raising the dead from your local cemetery, flooding your town with evil, granting you positions of power, and turning wine into water. Use at your own risk. Okay. So it seems like Betty's mother used this to become the mayor. Nothing good will come to whoever uses this book. Some of these spells might Okay, we already heard this. Use okay, so it looks like I can click on stuff here. This looks great, but I have a feeling we should read more before we do anything else. Okay, so this popped up. Why isn't this working? Maybe we should read the rest. Oh, I can turn the page. Alrighty, um... Let's this look at great, this. But I have a feeling we should read more before we do anything else. Read more? We are reading. Okay, there's a cavern there. The skull feather. Huh. Guess a diamond. Why isn't this working? Okay. This is all strange stuff. Instagram. Oh. This looks great, but I have Okay. An intentionally blank space. An intentionally blank space. Okay, so, according to my notes here... <laughs> Damn. Alright, uh, according to my notes here, we gotta get, like, ingredients. So we can use the Necronomicon to do something. Um, sinkable, what's this? A very nice painting of a ship with... Wait, is that a hole in the hole? Unsinkable the oh we saw the unsinkable the second back at the camp so this must be the first one and it apparently it has a hole in the side of the ship what else can I mess with that's pretty much it um can I open this door hmm closed okay we can't go in there so it looks like. Yep, we gotta gather ingredients for this book, Necronomicon. And the book just teleports Whoa. back. Where did the book go? I probably can't take it too far from the office. What? One, two, Who's that? We look at you. Three, four, don't lock your door. Five, six, no dirty tricks. Seven, 
eight, it's not too late. Nine, ten, say amen. I have another song for you to sing, you tiny freaks. Go away, you creepy monsters. Go away. What? Okay, so the kids are now creepy and their eyes are glowing blue. Creepy kids. We are only... Hey, kids, everything all right? What's wrong with everything them? Everything was perfect until your arrival disrupted us. Whoa, you kids take playing really seriously. We are not playing. We are patrolling. Seems like they're just standing Sorry. there. I just wanted to ask you a few things. Our interaction is not scheduled until 7 a.m. Can you make an exception? Since you take such good care of Chuck, we will allow it. What seems to be the pickle, Betty? Yeah, I don't I don't I don't trust these kids. Um Tiger's splashing around already? Tired of splashing around already? Aquatic activities can prove dangerous to our continued well-being. The rule is we must limit our contact with water to hydration purposes. Oh, come on. As if anyone would ever drown in a puddle like that. Do we need to remind you why that rule exists? Yes. It was implemented in response to a community member's head becoming lodged in a goldfish bowl. I think this is why she doesn't remember right? anything. Looks like, looks like, I have, a, I have a feeling everybody in this town is being mind controlled or something. And they don't remember anything. Shouldn't you kids be sleeping? It's kind of late, you know? Uh, shouldn't you kids be sleeping? It's kind of late, you know. Due to the disruption in today's schedule, Mr. Huckleberry will not play our resting tune until the missed work time has been made up. Aww, you have to wait for your lullaby before you go sleepy weepy. Yes, and until that time, Betty isn't too smart. Our assigned task she, she really, <laughs> she really who isn't. Our community and alerting the authorities through our chants. Ah, you're playing Hero Vigilantes! I probably should have guessed that. Why are you talking like tiny professors all of a sudden? That is a good question. Why are you talking like tiny professors all of a sudden? Have you been spending too much time with Ms. Dixon? Your assertion is incorrect. Our interactions with Ms. Dixon are limited to school hours. To address your query regarding our hyperlexia, you are, of course, prescient of the need to construct lexis that is both appropriate for contemporaneous linguistic norms and for synthesizing with greater North American social norms. Ain't, Betty ain't gonna know what he said. Um, so what I think is going on, I think, I think Betty's mother, the mayor, is mind controlling everyone into voting for her. I think that's, I think that's why she's mayor and she's using, using the Necronomicon to retain her power as the mayor. I think that's what's going on. No, I get it. You guys all planned this out beforehand to make me look dumb. Oh, I get it. You guys all planned this out beforehand to make me look dumb. That is highly improbable. You're highly improbable. Betty, your inability to process multisyllabic vocabulary has always been one of your most defining characteristics. I know. I'm awesome. <laughs> Debatable. <laughs> We shall return to our duties now. Yeah, right. Go back to your stupid game, smart asses. She's, she's getting owned by a damn kid. Can you sing something more cheerful? Have you seen my mom around? I, I guess that would be the important thing. Have you seen my mom around? We certainly did. Well, where is she? Our social rank prevent us from knowing the mayor's location. So social All ranks. All we know is she is currently not in town. <sighs> you wouldn't know who might be aware, would you? Her whereabouts are usually known to Mr. Buckingham, the janitor. Great. And where can I find him? 
His whereabouts are usually known to Miss Barrett, the mayor. Great, back to searching for mom. Betty, searching for your parental figure is not your duty. Your sole task is to provide Chuck, your superior, with his daily dose of nutrients and hydration. Wait, the plants are superior? Chuck Schmuck? Why doesn't anyone ever worry about my hydration levels? Okay, um... Apparently a plant... ...outranks us in the social ranking here. Uh, can't you sing something more cheerful? Uh, can't you sing something more cheerful? Tell us, Betty, are our chants unbeauteous to you? I wouldn't say they're unbe- un unboo- uh, bad. They just creep me out. To sing a different arrangement would be highly unorderly. Complaining is also highly unorderly. Please proceed to re-examination at your earliest convenience. Re-examination? I'll go somewhere else. That is positive news, which enlightens our hearts. All right, well, we're done talking to these kids. Uh, let's talk to the firefighter, Wilberforce. Wilberforce Peyton Millhouse, the town's firefighter. Oh, so you can say my name right. Well, of course I can, Wimbledon Pillow Warehouse. <laughs> Betty! What the hell is going on? Hey, Windsurf, how's it going? Betty, please. This is no time for absurd nicknames. Don't you realize something's terribly wrong? What are you talking about? So I wonder why the he's people, not Betty? being mind controlled or something. Different you? Nonsense. Nothing escapes what makes my him special? <sighs> Maybe you should keep an eye on them. Uh, are you okay, man? Uh, are you okay, man? Ah, either you deserve an Academy Award, or you are the dumbest person alive. <laughs> so, I guess that's a no. Sorry to hear that, Wonderfork. Since you're so well-informed, you got any advice for me? Since you're so well-informed, you got any advice for me? Listen closely, Betty. Act normal, don't ask too many questions, and don't draw too much attention to yourself. Most importantly, do not yeah, Betty's not good at not doing that. But I am one of them. <sighs> Look, if you're going to listen to anything I say, listen to this. Keep an eye on the townsfolk. I'd better get going. Just keep an eye out for trouble, okay, Wilton Kale? Well, that's not even a word. May God have mercy on our souls. She's just messing up his last name. Betty's so mean. Right, let's get out of here. Alright, so I believe for this portion I just gotta find some items. So we can go around and talk to people. There's Angelo actually doing his job. And Marco. Is Betty present because she requires a haircut? Well, I do not think she is here for a shave. Okay, they're being mind controlled too. All right, I'll come back and talk to them later. Oh, the sheriff looks like he's mind controlled. What about Lorianne? Yeah, she is too. To think someone would move the car from its established position and to a prohibited spot, no less. Okay. Um, let's go into the county courthouse. See if we can find anything here. Um, so he left. The sheriff left. Doesn't look like there's anything here. Alright, let's get out of here. Actually, let's go down to the cells. Oh! That guy's awake. But he's not being mind controlled. It don't seem I like. Never set foot in this cursed goddamn town. Well. Looks like it's going to be yet another lonely night in the cell. Hey. Your eyes. They're not. You're not like them. Like them? What are you talking about? Who are you? Uh, never mind. I haven't spoken to anyone in months. Who are you? What's happening? I asked you first. Hey. 
Hey, I asked you first. Does it really matter? If you care about manners, it does. <laughs> well, manners are the hallmark of every successful sale. <laughs> I'm Laszlo. Laszlo Hardy, a professional security alarm salesman. Can I interest you in... Uh, no. <clears throat> Sorry, <laughs> force a habit. And you are? I'm Betty, professional problem solver. You wouldn't happen to be here to free me, would you? Just because I solve problems doesn't mean I can solve all <laughs> of them. No. That would be illegal. How did you end up in jail? How did you end up in jail? No, it was all a setup. Oh, of course it was. Isn't that, isn't that what every inmate says, Mr. Hardy? I guess I'll have to take your word for it. Yeah, right. And now you'll tell me it's all some gov government conspiracy. Let's go with this one. Yeah, right. And now you'll tell me it's all some government conspiracy. No, listen to me. I'm telling the truth. They got the FBI to frame me for something I didn't do. The FBI? I wonder if this guy's crazy. Really? Yes, and the sheriff's in on it, too. They all ganged up on me. Not to stoke the fire, but I think he might not be the actual sheriff. What are you talking about? He is the sheriff. Well, he could be, but what if he isn't? But he is! But what if he isn't? Ugh, what a waste of oxygen. So, did you actually do anything bad? Tell me the truth. Did you actually do anything bad? Tell me the truth! <sighs> the only thing I'm guilty of is maybe overselling my products a teensy bit. Come on, you can tell old Betty what happened. Okay, I came to this town to pitch a new alarm system to the mayor. But that pig-headed woman turned me down. Since when do salespeople take rejection personally? That's because it wasn't just one. It was THE one! One but what? I never failed a sale before, so I spent a few days drowning my sorrows at Max's. <sighs> Let me tell you, I was drunker than a mule on Cinco de Mayo. I ended up in the park, and then I saw it. <gasps> what was it? The bank's alarm system. A Templeton's unsafe 5,000. An insult to everything I hold dear. Long story short, it turns out that aggravated alarm assault on the same night someone robs the bank was a bad idea. <laughs> they charged me with grand larceny, threw me in here, and that's where I've been since. Well, that sucks. So that's why he's here. Do they even feed you down here? Doesn't look like. Doesn't Do they look even like they feed, feed you him. Down here? It's pretty skinny. Ugh, yeah, they keep bringing me this gloopy thing. Ugh. D did you really? Ugh, hell no. I've been feeding it to the rats and roaches. What rats and roaches? <laughs> exactly. Ugh. I just wanted to catch up with you. You know, what you've been up to, the places you've seen. Oh, look at you, mocking an innocent man. Okay, well, looks like... Well, that's, that's Laszlo Hardy, the inmate. What was that? <laughs> what? Oh no, why are you here now? I thought I had until next week. <laughs> Amos! Amos, help me! <laughs> no, please don't. I, I, I don't have all of it yet, but, but it's coming. I just need more time, I swear. <laughs> Is he getting shaked down by a fucking Amos, squirrel? Amos, I need Gloopy and I need it now. Please, please, I'm begging you. It's not my fault. My supplier's late. Oh my god. <laughs> the squirrel. No, not my leg. The squirrel attacks again. Please. One more day. Just one more day. Oh, oh, oh th thank you. Thank you so much. I'm, I'm so sorry. It won't happen again. Tomorrow, double the amount. I swear to God. I wonder if that's the same squirrel that that diver was talking about. 
All right, well. I know I've got deep pockets. Okay, so let's continue to explore this town. Um, let's see. Let's stop off at actually, yeah, let's stop off at Mike's diner. So apparently he's Whoa, actually cooking. I'll never get used to That's weird. I don't smell anything. Oh no, I've lost my sense of smell. Ha <laughs> ha! Always attempting to metaphorically pull our leg. As you are well aware, Gloopy is odorless. It is one of its most distinguishing characteristics. Followed by its lack of color, texture, and what? flavor. Why in the world is he cooking? What the hell's a Gloopy? Ugh. I present to you the latest batch of Gloopy. Consumption is compulsory. In fact, you are within an acceptable time frame. Yeah, ain't for no way anybody's gonna try service. to eat that. I will provide you with nourishment shortly. Hmm, I think I'd rather eat. I'd rather eat a vial of rat poison. A vial of rat poison. You come into my <laughs> diner as if you own the place and dare insult my food. God damn. I'd choose my next words carefully if I were you, Betty. Oh, sorry? He knows his food is nasty. Apologies, Betty. I seem to have undergone an unorderly outburst. Is he over here getting mad at us? Where were we? Ah, yes. Gloopy? No. I mean, there's a damn lizard alligator thing in the background here. <laughs> Ain't nothing this dude served. Serves good. So I think we gotta get this knife. Um, Please follow all rules and regulations associated with Mike's Diner and its products. Rule one Do not make disparaging comments about the chef's skills. I guess that's a Is new it rule. Is considered disparaging to ask questions about the chef's skills? For example, could the current chef be replaced by one possessing actual skills? Mr. Slim, your comment indicates dissatisfaction. You must require additional nutritional intake. I will give you a double portion of Gloopy. It must be consumed in its entirety before you may leave the premises. I deeply regret my unwarranted outburst, Chef Walker. <laughs> your position is secure, and no other individual can do the work to your standard. Please, do not allocate additional nutrients to me. They should be equally distributed so all may enjoy. If there are and no even they don't even like eating that. And they're supposed continue. to eat it. Rule two. All right, let's Consume go and talk to Lola. Using your mouth. It is unorderly to fill. Hey, Lola. Lola, are you speaking to me? Uh, yeah. I don't see anyone else here named Lola. There is no one here by that name. My name is Carrie Ann Jones. What seems to be the pickle, Betty? Carrie Ann Jones. Okay. Um. I don't remember your eyes being so shiny. I don't remember your eyes being so shiny. My eyes are functioning normally, Betty. However, yours appear to have lost their spark. You mean that my soul does not shine as brightly as it once did? Or perhaps that I am merely a husk of what I was before? Your thinking process has deepened impressively. It has also significantly darkened. Are you perhaps in need of re-examination? Deep and dark. What, so what is this re-examination? <laughs> False alarm. I, I don't you think that's going, going to be a good Betty thing behaviors. for us. It appears there is no need for re-examination. Damn, Miss Dixon's exam was hard. Damn, Miss Dixon's exam was hard. Miss Dixon conducted your examination? That is most unorderly of her. Only military personnel are authorized to conduct examinations. Why would the military oh, the be military. in charge of giving exams? I mean, isn't that a job for a teacher? The current protocol establishes examinations are to be conducted solely by the highest ranking community members. In our case, that would be the military. Okay, but hear me out. 
What if the soldier in charge of examination needs examination? In that case, it would fall to a higher ranking officer. But what if that person also needs examination? Then it would fall to the next higher ranking officer, all the way up to the general himself. But what if the general needed examination? Who examines him? There is only one community member that outranks the general, and that is... Me? No, Betty, not you. Ooh. You seem more unorderly than usual today. Please proceed to re-examination at your earliest convenience. So, so the military definitely has something to do with this. And I think the general, the general and the mayor are kind of, they know something. How about we give Miss Dixon a taste of her own medicine? See how she likes it, eh? How about we give Miss Dixon a taste of her own medicine? See how she likes it, eh? Thanks to your report, she will now face the consequences of her actions. Hell yeah, Carrie, we'll get her good. Correction, the military will. Oh, well, I sure hope Miss Dixon won't get in trouble if she fails. If she does not pass her re-examination, she will be terminated. I mean, firing her might be kind of harsh, but that'll teach her not to mess with Betty. Never mind, I'll see you later. I will see you again for your next appointed mealtime. So, these people have schedules and appointments. Rule three. Um, John Smooth. Shiny. What happened to his hair? Pardon me. Sorry, I couldn't help myself. We worked You're so hard to get in it. It's just I have a thing for shiny things. <laughs> How interesting. Now, Betty, what seems to be the pickle? Hey, Slim. What about a dance? Hey, Slim. What about a dance? Why would I perform the act of dancing, knowing it is unorderly? Since when is dancing unorderly? Musical activities are forbidden, with the sole exceptions of Mr. Huckleberry's guitar, the alarm call of the younglings, and the song of unorderliness. What happened to that cocky, flirtatious Slim from just a few hours ago? Flirting? That is the epitome of unorderly behavior. Why would I do something like that? Aw, that's too bad. I was just thinking about how I was finally ready to ask you on a big romantic date. Oh, that Wait. did it. Really? You want to go out with me? All right, let's go, babe. Mr. Slim, you are behaving unorderly again. Apologies, Chef Walker. It will not happen again. Remember that this would be your 18th re-examination in a month. You are at risk of termination. 18? The teacher must really love you to give you so many chances to pass. Mr. Slim has a predisposition to sudden outbursts when in close proximity to subjects of the female gender. Working in close proximity to Miss Jones does not help. Okay. What's that song of unorderliness unord you mentioned? What's that song of unorderliness you mentioned? Allow us to demonstrate. Mr. Huckleberry? Nope. Oh. It's Chuck. If you're unorderly and Chuck, you know um, it, clap your what's hands. What's his face? If you're unorderly and you know it, clap your hands. If you're unorderly and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're unorderly and you know it, clap your hands. And that song's Betty. Lame. Were you clapping? N no. To clap when prompted by the song is highly unorderly. Please attend re-examination at your earliest convenience. Catch you later, Slim. There is no need to catch me. I am not going anywhere. I think I'm starting to draw too much attention to myself. Yeah, we should uh, stop talking to these people. So, Jones, our picture is up here on this uh, beer sliding contest thing. It is recommended that no one insult Can't look at it because Gloopy. John's blocking it. Do so, Mike Steiner is not responsible for any retaliation Gloopy commits. Okay, I gotta talk to Mike. Mike, I have returned. Nightly greetings, Betty. What seems to be the pickle? Okay, so what's in this Gloopy thing? Mike... Are you completely sure the iguana in the kitchen is dead? 
So I believe we gotta talk to him about that so we can get this knife. Mike, are you completely sure the iguana in the kitchen is dead? Yes, I am quite positive. Really? Because I swear it moved just a second ago. That is most unorderly. Allow me to confirm this. Okay. Iguana, please respond. Are you deceased? Iguana, I am unable to determine there we go. your state without your... Hmm, how peculiar. I believe there was a knife here just a few moments ago. A knife? Here? Nah, that was just your mind playing tricks on you. That or the fumes from Gloopy. Ah, uh, yes, the side effects. I will attempt to remain orderly until they pass. Thank you, Betty. No, thank you for the knife. All right, so now we have the knife. We're going to need to use that later on something. I'm not sure yet. Um, if it looks like a sword and cuts like a sword, then it's a sword, I guess. Okay, well, anyways, now we can, we should be able to cross the train tracks. So let's see what's over here. So we got a motel. Let's have a look at this. That sign's seen better days. Then again, so has the building. And we got a sign here, out of business. Ooh, note. Out of business? Thanks, Captain Obvious. So they got a motel here that went out of business. It doesn't seem like they get a lot of visitors here in this town. Um, can I pick this up? A box of complimentary matches. I wonder if I could take one for non-incendiary reasons. Yep, I can take one. Actually, I'm about to pick up a bunch of stuff here, so I'll take a look at them later. Crash site? What happened? Oh, okay, so this is why they had to shut down the motel. Where's the rest of the plane? Where there not enough vacancies? There's no way I can fit that in my pocket. No vacancy. War Bonnet Motel. Wow. Um, yeah, I believe in the next chapter we're going to figure out why this is here. There's a there's a dead possum. Didn't your mom tell with you its to look tongue ways hanging crossing? out all cartoonishly. Let's pick it up. Ew. Damn. All right, we got we got some roadkill. Okay, what else can I pick up? We got gas pumps and what else? What else can I mess with? Um, an empty gas can. I can pick that up. And quack quack quack. I think I can pick this up. Yes, I can. What's this? A rooster? There's a rooster taking a bath on Ben's rooftop. Whoa, this night could not get any weirder. Quack, 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 quack. I stand corrected. Why is the rooster quacking? It's wearing a trucker's hat. All right. Rooster, you must descend immediately. The chance of injury in your situation is extremely high. Look. Boy, this is wacky. All right, Ben, uh, what, what's, what's going on here? Doc, as in doctor, what a preposterous proposition. You are perfectly aware that my name is Benjamin Tecumseh Zinn. Using the incorrect form of address is highly unorderly. Jeez, relax. You're quite jumpy tonight. I am not jumping, Betty. I am in charge of gas refilling tasks and border patrols. Uh, okay. Good for you, man. Anyway, mind if I ask you a few things? Of course. Ask away. Okay, what happened to the motel across the street? What happened to the motel across the street? Seems pretty obvious what know. happened. 
That establishment is of no use to our community, as outsiders are a rare occurrence in our town. That's a shame. One would say that wing sticking out of the honeymoon suite gives it that quirky touch tourists love. Anyway, did you know the owner? Negative. That place has been abandoned for more than a year. I'll be seeing you, Ben. Have a most wonderful night, Betty. So... So this has been happening for around a year. How ever did I end up with such an unorderly pet? Yeah, that's Why could his I pet. not have been granted a more orderly creature? Okay, what, what else can I pick up? Thing. Well, this is obviously a... a, a um... Good question. What is that? Can we pick... Oh, U-H-O? I shouldn't touch that. I got a bad feeling about it. Okay, let's look at this wooden sign. If you're reading this, you're either a bull or a communist. Either way, get out. All right, and we got gas pumps here. It's full, unlike my wallet. <laughs> Ain't that true. Um... I'm gonna need something to carry the fuel. Well, luckily, we have a gas can here. Let's use it. A thousand pardons, Miss Potential Clan. What the fuck? But should you fill that can without providing payment first, I will be forced to stop you by making use of this trusty double barreled shotgun. <laughs> okay, so we can't do that. That's cr that's wild that he has that thing rigged up like that. A shotgun. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Eliza Barrett, your mayor, like it or not. So it doesn't seem like she got elected by the will of the people. That's what I'm thinking. There's a fuse box here. That little box powers the billboard lights. Makes you wonder how much tax money goes into keeping mom's face shiny. Ooh, shiny. Ooh, shiny. Oh shoot, I blew a fuse! Oh no! Blew a fuse. I've had enough shocks for one night. Um, okay. Let's take a look at this truck. Ben's truck, with a coat of freedom blue. Can I get inside? Oh, I totally would, but I fear Ben would disagree with my intentions. Lethally. Oh, that doesn't seem like a good idea. Alright, um... I think Perhaps I picked up everything here. I'm gonna need yep, I think I picked up everything. We can take a look at this bathtub. Even if I could reach it, what would be the point? Talk about a bath with a view. Though, everyone could get a view of you too. Alright, so does Ben say anything more? I don't think he says anything else. Let's leave the chit chat for later. Alright, so we gotta do something else then. I think we got everything here that we could pick up. Eventually, we gotta come back here and get that. Fill up our gas can. Let's see. Um. Yep, that's pretty much everything here. Alright, um, what else do I have to do? I guess I gotta go around and... I don't think I can go up I've here. I've enough breaking and entering for one night. Yeah, I think I just gotta go around and talk to people some more. So we talked to everybody in the diner. Let's go over here. And let's talk to Marco and... What's his face? Angelo. Tortellini. Nightly greetings, Betty. Nightly greetings, indeed. Wow, you're in a really good mood. Have you been to anger management? Anger? That would be very unorderly. Marco, remain motionless. I do not wish to accidentally lacerate your what? ear. What hair Most is he cutting? Assuredly, Angelo. I shall maintain my current state of motionlessness. Marco's bald. Hmm, huh, they're friendly all of a sudden. Suspicious. Maybe I should be careful. Nah, when has the Mafia ever stabbed someone in the back? <laughs> I thought you'd be back in your crib after our encounter. 
I thought you'd be back in your crib after our, uh, encounter. Sleep is scheduled for midnight. Until then, we are tasked with maintaining the aesthetic integrity of our fellow citizens. Tell us, why are you here? Your hair does not require maintenance, as it is drawn that way. You really think somebody would come for a trim at this time of night? Certainly. Everyone knows the importance of having an orderly appearance. But wouldn't your hair get messed up when you went to sleep? Not if you slept in an orderly fashion, Betty. What happened to sleeping with the fishes? Fishes? Sleeping underwater is very unorderly, Betty. You would be unable to breathe. If you are considering sleeping in unorderly locations, I would suggest you attend re-examination at your earliest convenience. Everybody talks so weird. What happened to your Italian? What happened to your Italian? Yeah, they're not Everyone saying in Italian our stuff. Everyone community speaks within the established parameters of the standard English language. But earlier tonight, you weren't. If that were true, we would be awaiting re-examination. Currently, we are not awaiting re-examination. Therefore, you must be in error. Now, Betty, unless you have questions related to grooming or personal maintenance, you should return to your assigned duties. Okay. Uh, don't you think you're done with that shave? Don't you think you're done with that shave? Yeah, he's... If you keep going, you might hit bone. For Angelo to reach my skull, he would have to purposefully stab me with his scissors, and that would be highly unorderly. Worry not, Betty. There are 0.27 inches of connective tissues between the skin and the cranium. I'm pretty sure you just pulled those numbers out of your hat. That would be impossible, as I am not wearing a hat. Okay, um, sorry about taking all that stuff from your safe. I don't think he, he really cares right now. Sorry about taking all that stuff from your safe. We already know you have not taken anything from us, as that would be highly unorderly. And deadly! <laughs> what my companion is trying to say is that provided your behavior does not cause distress or disharmony, you will not require re-examination. All is forgiven! Gotcha! You guys are the nicest mafiosi I know. Mafiosi? My official designation is Phenotypic Maintenance Technician. I am the Aesthetic Integrity Enforcer. If you see any stray hairs, make sure to report them to me. Capiche? Well, do you mind if I move into your big fancy man mansion? I think, I think, uh, Angela would have a problem with that. Since you guys don't care about material stuff, how about you live here and I'll move into your big fancy mansion? Indeed. Material possessions are irrelevant to us. Sweet. I'll just go and... In fact, our community recognizes materialism as a highly unorderly behavior. Perhaps you require us to advance your re-examination date? I'm perfectly fine. Absolutely no materialism here. I totally hate, uh, stuff. Nightly farewell, I guess. Likewise. So I'm thinking... I'm thinking that when we turned on the, uh, Marco, turbo turbine of the dam, once, I do not intend to cut uh, anything up. That activated some kind of device. I have received that... more reports of cryptic message sightings. Once, I even found my vehicle covered in them. At first, I suspected that Drifter Outsider, but he has not been sighted for months. Regardless, we are too fast and sharp for the incident to ever repeat itself. <laughs> oh, Wait, what is this in my notebook? If you're so fast and sharp, why didn't you catch us riding this, dummy? Those goddamn chipmunks got me again! <laughs> the chipmunks strike back. My unorderly self, they got us again. So yeah, I think when we turned on the dam, 
turned on a, di a di device that something strange is going on. Mind controls everybody here. And that's that's a possibility too. Let's go and talk to the priest. Surely he has something that I can take. Let's see. What's up, father? The hour grows late. And Betty comes into my church seeking counsel. Is there something you wish to say to me, Betty? I come in peace, Father, I swear. As the code bestowed upon us states, those who abandon order, if they return to it willingly, shall be welcomed back into the fold. Letting bygones be bygones? Neat. Anyway, I could use some guidance, Father. Ask, and you shall receive. So now he's talking like a normal priest. I found this really ominous book. I found this really ominous book. Written in some weird language and bound in what appears to be human flesh. What about it concerns you, Betty? I don't know. Shouldn't you be concerned about the existence of this clearly demonic book? Demons are magical beings and magic does not exist. Therefore, there's no need to be concerned. Magic doesn't exist? No! <laughs> Again, in this game, um, it probably does. That is a shiny cup you got there. That's a shiny cup you got there. It is said to provide eternal happiness, youth, and an infinite abundance of... Of bottom shelf booze, I'm guessing? Hold up, are you drinking that crap out of the holy grail? <laughs> a cup is a cup. It would be unorderly to drink out of anything else. And I can stop whenever I so desire. Sure you can. I speak the truth. Then prove it. Hand it over. You just gotta take a big swig before he does that. Here, you may have this. I no longer... No! Give it back! Give it back! I no longer have need of it. Father, I feel a confession coming on. Feel a confession Wait, coming he, on. You just took out a, a martini. Damn, this dude's behavior. an alcoholic. Please follow me, Betty. Alright, well, we gotta confess now. Confess. Um I committed invol <laughs> Oh yeah, we killed a guy. Father, I think I got someone killed. Maybe. Most likely. Yeah, actually, I'm pretty sure about it. No one in the community has been scheduled for termination. Oh, that's what I termination I is. Record, I feel awful about it. Besides, he's from So if you get so re-examined too community. many times, you get killed. Cursed is he who is unorderly. And cursed is he who keeps back his sword from bloodshed. I shouldn't feel better, but I do anyway. Thanks, Father. I brought chaos and destruction to a campsite. I brought chaos and destruction to a campsite. Betty, the code is clear. Chaos and destruction are most unorderly behaviors. However, recognizing your misdeeds and confessing to them will preclude you the resulting re-examination. Whew, that's a weight off my shoulders. I thought I had screwed up pretty badly at Pam's. Pam's? I was not previously aware of this individual. Might she be an outsider? I guess you could say that since she's outside of town and all. Thank you for alerting us of this irregularity, Betty. We will send someone for her first thing in the morning. Uh-oh. I think I owe Pam an apology. I'd like to think this through. Of course, Betty. Take your time to organize your thoughts. They're coming after that you know little what? girl. I'm not ready to confess yet. I will be here listening to community reports all night, as it is my assigned duty. Okay. Well, we're done talking to the priest. Um, let's see. Can I mess with this pipe organ? Sent my child. It would be most unorderly for you to touch that. Okay, we're not allowed to touch it then. And when the outsider approached me. Okay, so. 
Oh, this is the Holy Grail. Even though it looks like a pimp goblet. Not just a communion cup. This must be the cup of a carpenter. Okay, let's go ahead and look at all these items. Feathers from the Dreamcatcher. We got feathers, a gas can. A gas can. Filled to the brim with air. We got some roadkill. Completely flattened. Must have been a crushing experience. Oh, well, I'm sure it was. Matches! It's always good to carry some around, right? Okay. Asking for salvation. So I think... Nothing says church. Uh-oh. So, we gotta use this holy grail on this water here. Now we have water. Holy water. Let the unorderly come to me. And let me send them to re-examination. <laughs> For the kingdom of unorderliness belongs to such as that. I hope I didn't choose poorly. Seems like those are references to something. Uh, let's take a look it's at this. With holy water, straight from the municipal supply. It looks a lot like secrets normal tap water. Exchanging secrets is even worse. Okay, so we get that from the church. Let's see, where else can we go? I'm trying to think, do do we have any business at the park? Hmm. You know what? Let's go ahead and check the park. Maybe there's something there. We missed. So here's the statue of the Kraken. I can't believe Mom erected a statue in an octopus's honor and not in mine. Yep, and there he is, commemorative tip plaque. You can go and look at it again. In honor of my darling son Bob, the tiny octopus who vanished in Crystalline Lake, lost but never forgotten. So that's how you figure out the the octopus's name. You you come here and read that plaque. Um, I think we can come over here and find something new. What's up, Hank? Hey there. I have no words for how impressed I am. Approbation is not what I seek, although Hank would love to hear you speak. Your eyes are so shiny. Your eyes are so shiny. While yours have become dimmer, but worry not, I know how to restore their glimmer. Are you offering to give me shiny eyes? I'm listening. Then hear my proclamation. You must go to re-examination. Oh, we do not want to get no, re-examinated. Anything that has the word exam in it is something I want to avoid. With that, you have planted the seed of suspicion. Pray it does not come to fruition. So, did you find that, that new and explosive sound you were looking for? So, did you find that new and explosive sound you were looking for? No, do not spread such a tale. Or the sheriff will put me in jail. Now that you can play better, I'm sure you'll be fine. I must not go beyond what is established. Unless you want old Hank to vanish. I announce curfew in all its beauty. Disruptive sounds are not my duty. What are you talking about? You do not seem to comprehend. So it is time for this talk to end. Okay, um, so what did you do to the bank? So, what did you do to the bank? Are you accusing me of complicity? Is it because of my ethnicity? Oh. What? No! You just happened to be standing in the middle of a crime scene, so I thought I'd ask. Do not worry about the bank, honey. So Laszlo did that stuff to the bank. No money. That's why he's in jail. Why are you out here playing the guitar so late? Why are you out here playing the guitar so late? Shouldn't you be doing something else? What a preposterous proposition. I am just performing my mission. Mission? What mission? I play a bursuze every night, so all the good citizens can sleep tight. When my fingers touch the strings, our friends will not fret about past things. Burse what? Are you trying to confuse me with difficult words? Cause it's definitely working. All good, Hank. Just keep on jamming. I will certainly do that, Betty. My guitar is always ready. So this guy reminds me of okay, Killer B from Naruto Shippuden. But the ahead. way he rhymes his stuff. 
There he goes, playing his guitar. Okay, I think we read that before. Who's this guy? Drifter. Poor guy. Looks like he lost more than just his memories. I don't envy him. This guy looks like the the I security guard from My Life is Strange. Came true, and then everything went south so fast. Let's go and talk to him. What's he talking about? <laughs> What's up? Wait, who are you? <laughs> Leave me alone, Keopolo's offspring. Keopolo's offspring? What'd you just call me? What'd you just call me? Leave me alone, you spawn of... Wait, you, you're different. You're not one of them anymore. If by one of them you mean people living in this town, I am still one of them. No, you don't understand. One of them like... Uh, never mind, Betty. Hey, oh. how do you know my name? I never even mentioned So he knows it. us. Your mother and I were inseparable once. Before she went freaking crazy! My name's Maxwell. Now keep your voice down, and maybe we could talk. Okay, um... I found a military base near the dam. Know anything about it? I found a military base near the dam. Know anything about it? Whatever they found, it was important enough to build that base overnight. What do you think they're hiding? I don't know, but it's big, and it's probably bad. Very bad. When I find my mom, she'll put an end to this. When I find my mom, she'll put an end to this. Don't get your hopes up, kid. She could very well be one of them by now. Even more of a reason to find her. I have my own reasons to look for Eliza. So I'll do whatever I can to help you. Okay, I wonder why he's so... He's so dirty. Um, what's that thing? What's that thing? What thing? The fuse you're playing with? Can I have it? Oh, we need oh, a fuse. It's mine! Finders keepers! I'll give it right back. Pinky promise. Oh, if you make a pinky promise, then by all means, please go ahead. Really? No! <laughs> that was mean. Oh, fine. You can have it. Oh, it works. Just don't start bawling, or your mom will never forgive me for making you cry. And that's another thing we got. So, how do you know my mom? So, how do you know mom? Have a seat, Betty. I'm going to tell you the story of how I met your mother. I don't have all the time in the world, you know. Well, then I'll give you the long story short version. I was surfing on Oahu one day when I saw her. I've never seen anyone shredding barrels in a pantsuit before. Damn. My mom knows how to surf? Oh, yes, she does. Anyway, in a she suit. started waving to me from her board. I thought she was just being friendly at first, but then I realized she was trying to warn me. There was a huge shark on my tail. <gasps> Did you die? Um, <laughs> no. I thought I was a goner for sure. But your mother flung herself right at the shark, shouting, If you bite so much as his pinky toe, I'll sue you and your family back to the Stone Age. Lawyers and sharks must speak the same language, because it swam away pretty damn quickly after that. Your mother and I have been friends ever since. So, tell me more about your business. Tell me more about your business. Huh. It was my dream to open my own bar. And I did, but it had barely been open for a week before it was gone, just gone, like ashes in the wind. What do you mean by gone? What do you mean by gone? All my hopes, dreams, and savings reduced to ashes. My precious bar, my joy. What, was there a fire or something? Fire? Fire? <laughs> Fire bad! Very bad! <sighs> Seems like this guy hey, has whoa, PTSD. I didn't realize you had such a thing about fire. <laughs> Oops, sorry, it just slipped out. Never, 
and I may never, ever mention that again. The word itself sears a brand of stunning anguish across my heart. Then what happened to your bar? Then what happened to your bar? It was the vilest of betrayals, the most atrocious act of cruelty. And the worst part is that it was all perpetrated by my oldest and dearest friend. Are you sure this person was your friend? Uh, yes. No. Oh, so much has happened. I really don't know anymore, Betty. Well, look on the bright side. At least you didn't die in that fire. <laughs> I swear, I don't do these things on purpose. Well, see you later, Max. Yeah, Betty, you gotta quit doing that. Long, so who knows? Max, one thing. I found this really weird book in my mom's office. I'm not sure why, but I think it hungers for my flesh. Just a feeling. Oh, you must mean the Necronomicon Ex Mortis, the Book of the Dead. We had a blast with that book when we were younger, your mom and I. But what is it even good for? It's just a book with a creepy cover. Oh, there's plenty in the book. You just have to know how to get the spells to reveal themselves. There's no way I'm sacrificing a goat, no sir. That's one method, but it's a little expected. To unlock the true power of the Necronomicon, a pagan priest must curse a stream that flows into a moonless night. Where am I supposed to find a stream in the desert? And it can't flow into a night. I think you got too much sun today, Max. You need to use liquid evil in the dark. I was speaking metaphorically, Betty. Yeah, well, liquid speak English evil next in the time. dark. But it's okay. I think I got it. Evil priest, liquid curse, darkness. I don't think you got it. Whatever, close enough. I guess we'll find out. Okay, maybe I gotta show this holy grail filled with holy water to the priest. That's why I'm thinking. Let's look at this steel drum. Someone has been grilling more than sausages here. Maybe he wouldn't be so grumpy if he had something to warm himself up with. Um... That base out in the desert. Can I light this? Let's see. What the hell? A lit match in a barrel full of delightfully flammable trash. What a great combination. I don't know if this is, this is a good idea. Tonight pretty wild, though. Maybe I shouldn't set any recreational fires right now. Hmm... <laughs> Whoa! Where did you come from? Come on, Betty. You know you want to do this. Light that match. It's going to be shiny. Shiny, you say? Hmm. Uh-oh. Yikes. Let me guess. You're my good side, and you're here to stop me? What? No! I love shiny things. <laughs> what? They both Let's agree. Burn this bad boy. Okay, you got it. Fire in the hole. You got it. Fire in the hole. There we go. Ooh, shiny, Ooh. shiny. Why does Betty Good like job, shiny Parker. stuff? Now it's time we leave you. See you at the next arson. Oh God, it's back. Relax, buddy. It's just a little fire to keep you warm. I curse you, Patty Anderson! <laughs> I curse you! Andy. Oh, Betty might regret this later. I don't know if that was a good thing to do. Okay, what's in this shopping cart? Daily Comrade, the Incognito Communist Gazette of the U.S. Okay, we got a... Uh, what is this? A communist newspaper. Baseball team Red Comrades accused of harboring communists. Team GM Vladimir Yefimovich denies all accusations and threatens to sue imperialist swine. And let's take a look at this fuse. It's a fuse. You never know when something like this might come in handy. All right. So I think that's all we can do here. Let's go into the school. Maybe we can get some items here. It's locked. Hmm. It's locked. Okay, can we go into this office? No, we can't. Let's go and talk to this professor here. Wow, Miss Dixon, you 
won't believe all the stuff that's happened to... Wait, what are you doing with Skipper's skull? An interesting query, Betty. Based on empirical evidence, what do you believe I'm doing with Skipper's skull? I don't know. Um... I mean, what she's doing is very creepy. Practicing for the Undertaker position? Some sort of satanic ritual to regain your youth? Tampering with evidence? You know what? She may have... She may have killed Skipper. And then put his body on display here. Let's go with this one. Tampering with evidence? Not quite. I am organizing the next theatrical performance at this prestigious school. What can I do for you this midsummer night? Okay, uh, can I have Skipper's skull? Can I have Skipper's skull? No. Why would I ever give him to you? I passed that because... exam. That surprise exam you gave me. If you don't, I'll keep bugging you until you change my mind. I need a skull and I'm running out of legal options. I need a skull and I'm running out of legal options. If you desire to abscond with this well-preserved cranium, it will necessitate vigorous mental calisthenics. I'm afraid you lost me at abscond. If you wish to have this skull, you will assist me in organizing our next play. Me? Directing a play? <gasps> this is my moment! The world's a stage, and it's not ready for me! Assist, not direct. And the Tony Award goes to... Betty! Woo! Betty, woo! Great job, I knew you could do it! Woo! She Woo! has Woo! infinitely deep pockets. The play is the thing. What should our next theatrical production be about? Okay, so we get to decide on what. So, let's see. What can we choose from? A dark figure gets a hold of the US's nuclear launch codes. After a subterranean invasion, human humans have almost gone extinct. A gang of outlaws has taken an entire town hostage. The inhabitants of a sleepy town awaken without memories. Let's go with this one. This seems to be the, the more applicable to our situation. The inhabitants of a sleepy town awaken without memories. But there's much more to the situation than meets the eye. Every play needs a protagonist. Who would be our main character? I guess we would. An exiled teenager, a former assassin, a reindeer, a home appliance. Let's go with this one. A home appliance that just lost his brother unexpectedly, but swore vengeance on the murderer. Every good play needs a villainous counterpart. Who would that be? Okay, let's go with, um... An evil Santa. A middle-aged mall Santa who's struggling with his impending divorce. He's having a really bad day. What would be the setting? Um... A very tall building. The tallest bank building in Tombstone, Arizona. I'm just picking random stuff. I want to see what this does. I toaster. I toaster. Satisfactory. You can play the third tree from the left. <laughs> Take Skipper to use as a scene partner and go rehearse. Okay, we got Skipper. Can we talk to the gerbil over here? Garrick, you're back already? Me, me, me. Guess you needed to burn off that twonky, huh? Me, me, me. Mom gave you another one? I'm pretty sure she could be impeached for that. Me? Me, 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 me. Oh, the generator, right, that's why. But two twonkies? Isn't that, like, real bad for your health? Me, 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 me. Logic clearly dictates that the needs of the community outweigh the needs of the hamster? Yeah, that sounds like her. Me, me, me. Okay, um, is it me or is everybody, ev everyone in this town acting kind of weird? Is it just me or is everyone in town acting kind of weird? Me, he? Me, me, me. Doesn't sound like business as usual to me. Me, he, me, me. 
Wait, back up. Everyone, including me, has been acting like that for months? Yeah. Yeah. You know all this, and I'm just hearing it now? Thanks a bunch, Vermilion Racer. Me, me, me. Look, you can apologize later. For now, let's just try to find a way out of this mess. Okay, so apparently she just realized that she's been acting like that. I mean, it should be pretty obvious by now. I think I found you a little friend to play with. I think I found you a little friend to play with. Meow? It's this man-eating kraken that lives by the lake. <laughs> oh, calm down. He, he only does not want any of that. Meow. What's up with Dixon? What's up with Dixon? Me, 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 me. Me, 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 me. I'd never have guessed she liked theater. Will this be her first, or has she directed other plays before? Me, 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 me. Wow, a crossover between all those literature classics? That play must have been amazing. Tell me everything. Me, 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 an excruciating number of ninjas later. Okay, okay, so, somewhere orderly in La Mancha lived Don Quixote. After an unorderly affair with Juliet of the Capulet clan, he was disowned by his family and exiled. Having no place to call his own, he set out on a quest to find it, along with his orderly squire, Huckleberry Finn. On the road, the two of them find a talking rabbit who they proceed to chase for being unorderly. Just as they're about to catch it, they take a trip down the rabbit hole and arrive in Wonderland. Maleficent, mayor of Wonderland, welcomes them with open arms, and all is well and orderly. Until Quixote begins jousting the local windmills. This is deemed unorderly and prompts a gathering of the Council of Orderly composed of Jesse James, Calamity Jane, Butch Cassidy, and the Ugly Duckling. The council members, unable to reach a consensus on the matter, plead for the mayor to intervene, not realizing that their lack of harmony is also unorderly. Maleficent then re-examines all of Wonderland, restoring order to her lands forevermore. Except for Maui, that pesky Hawaiian dancer who escaped in the middle of the night. So, Man, what a this doesn't story. even seem like a Did good play. Anything? Mew. Say, what do you think would happen if she mixed Hamlet with Dracula? Me, ex nation. I guess I should have seen that one coming. Get some rest, Garrick. You've earned it. Me. Okay. So, we're done with that. We... Looks like we can't do anything else here, so let's I get out of here. Alright, so where else can we go? Let's have a look at that generator in the park. Let's take a look at that. It's been, I wonder if anything's happened there. Okay, and it looks like the... Whatever that thing is, is working. Who's this guy? Nightly greetings, citizen. Community members are not permitted to access this area. Yeah, and who are you to tell me that? I am Deputy Clay McCord. I am performing my assigned duty of not permitting community members to access this area. Oh, really? Then why weren't you here earlier? The disparity between our social ranks does not allow me to share that kind of information with you. Ugh, whatever. I'll just come back later. Returning would be considered highly unorderly. Please uh -oh. leave this restricted area immediately. I, I guess that's another... Gareth. That's the first time we've seen him. So where do we go now? Everybody's acting like robots. So we talked to that guy here. We talked to... I guess we can talk to the sheriff in uh, Lorraine. Hey, Mr. Coltrane. How's it going? Nightly greetings, Betty. Order is being maintained at a satisfactory level. Ah, still trying to prove you're the sheriff, eh? Your dedication to your cause is commendable. Astutely observed, Betty. Your words are duly appreciated. 
Now, what seems to be the pickle? Sheriff or not, I think you have answers to my questions. At your service, Betty. Your lackey isn't letting me near the generator. Your lackey yeah, what's up isn't with that? letting me near the generator. Deputy McCord is executing his task as directed. No one is allowed near the generator. Oh yeah? That's interesting because I didn't see hide nor hair of the guy before. Did you use your magic wand and conjure him up out of nowhere? That would be a highly unorderly action, as well as impossible. Deputy McCord has been here since the establishment of social harmony. Besides, magic does not exist. I've heard magic doesn't exist before, but still. No! <laughs> Betty, you are acting unorderly. Please cease raising your voice or face forced re-examination. <laughs> Amos, your eyes. Amos, your eyes. They're so shiny. That is correct. However, I see Hello, your glow has dimmed. Mary 28B. How's it going? Your earliest convenience. Welcome to the stream. Can they fix my nearsightedness? Can they fix my nearsightedness? I never see so problems coming my way. I believe we're on chapter three right now. The solution to every problem, Betty. I will move your appointment up to tomorrow at sunrise. Yay! Um, there's something you should go check out. Wonder there's where this is leading. Check out. Proceed, Betty. The Twonkies ad claim they're more delicious than donuts. There's a secret military base next to the dam. Someone got murderized. Yo, yeah, well, someone did get murdered. Let's go and report this body. Someone got murderized. An unscheduled termination? I require all oh, details. Oh, maybe that guy got terminated. There's a campsite near the lake where I met a nice girl. And a scuba diver who had some real beef with a kraken. Oh, we're talking about the scuba diver. Please continue. He got crushed like a tin can. Which was totally not my fault, by the way. And now, there are pieces of Smokey all over the place. Thank you for reporting unorderly individuals. Rest assured, they will be examined at the earliest opportunity. Please do. Pam could use the company. Oh, and tell them to watch out for Sherman. He's surprisingly well-mannered, but he's not very friendly to strangers. Okay, so it doesn't seem like the sheriff really cares about doing anything. I seriously thought she was going to report the body in the dam, but you now we we reported the scuba diver. There's a secret military base next to the dam. Approaching the base is strictly forbidden. What were you doing there? I had to go there to fix the dam. Acknowledged. But remember, under no circumstances are you to return there. Fine, I'll stay away. But it's because I want to, not because you told me to. Okay, uh, someone snuck into the museum, tilted every painting. Now they're all crooked. Oh, he's definitely not going to do anything about that. Someone snuck into the museum and tilted every painting. Now they're all crooked. That is not unorderly behavior. Whoever did that, they should be executed. Thank you for trying to keep me on my toes. It is good to know that I do not require re-examination. All right, so I don't think I, we're getting anywhere with this. The Twonkies ad claims they're more delicious than donuts. The Twonkies ad claims they're more delicious than donuts. They claim what? <laughs> Let me see. Apparently that did it. Um, I take this. I'm not messing with that. The sheriff would probably arrest me for obstruction of justice. Can I take this? Okay, yeah, I think I'm supposed to take that star. There we go. Parking tickets from the sheriff to the sheriff. That's some dedication to the letter of the law. Has this dude been riding? Parking tickets for himself? These are fortunate. They do not qualify for examination. I have held this spot for over a year, dutifully reporting outsiders. Alas, my field of view is now obscured. Okay, that's insane that the sheriff is doing that. Okay, let's talk to Lorraine. Hey, Lorraine. 
everything all right? Indubitably so. Wow, have you been hanging out with Ms. Dixon? I have not. What makes you say that? Never mind. Okay, uh, careful, Lorraine. A flock of pigeons. You got any fruit I can eat? I have some fresh gossip from my out-of-town trip. Um, let's go with the first option. Careful, Lorraine! A flock of pigeons! Careful? Why? A flock of avian creatures is no cause for concern. Wow, Lorraine. I knew shock therapy worked, but I didn't think it worked this fast. Ah, pigeons. Such noble and majestic creatures. So, I wonder if doing all this will give us an item from L Lorraine. You got any fruit I can eat? Betty, as our regulations clearly dictate, all food must be acquired and consumed within the confines of Mike's Diner. You're kidding, right? The trip to the dam must have been exhausting. If you require an additional ration, proceed to Mike's Diner. <laughs> sure, I'm totally doing that. Not. That doesn't seem like a good idea. I have some fresh gossip. I have some fresh gossip from my out-of-town trip. Gossip? We do not gossip. We share knowledge. Oh. Now, please. Well, these people are boring. With the exchange of information. Okay. Um. Let's see. I wonder what she says. I found a secret base in the middle of the desert. I found a girl near the lake. The wall of the dam was broken. The wall of the dam was broken. What do you think happened there? I don't see any reason to question this event. You should return to your duties now, Betty. Party pooper. I pooped at no <laughs> one's party. That would be highly unorderly behavior. I found a girl near the, near the lake. I found a girl near the lake. We have no knowledge of residents at the lake. Well, actually, there's three of them, so... Three of them? Concerning... Thank you for bringing this to my attention. They will be scheduled for examination at sunrise. Oh, so um, they're not being brain controlled. You're welcome. Why do I have the feeling I owe Pam an apology? Okay, that's the second time we ratted Pam out. I found a secret base in the middle of the desert. I found a secret base in the middle of the desert. Your job did not involve exploration tasks. Why did you deviate from your established mission? I had to, otherwise I couldn't have fixed the dam. In that case, no further questioning is required. Good job, Betty. <laughs> oh. Actually, there will be time to gossip later. Nice talking to you, Lorraine. Our exchange of information has successfully concluded. Okay, I think I should stop asking questions. I'm starting to feel like I'm digging my own grave here. Yeah, for sure. Everybody's kind of su suspicious of you. So let's go and talk to Linda. I think this is going to be the last person we need to talk to. Okay. What's up, Linda? Nightly greetings, Betty. What seems to be the pain? Oh, she sounds hey way there, different. Crazy night, but nothing I couldn't handle. That is positive news which enlightens my heart. Guess who fixed the dam? Guess who fixed the dam? Given your absence at the moment of power restoration, I had already determined that. Jeez, Linda, you had to ruin my moment, didn't ya? Apologies. Thanks to your efforts, the situation has returned to normal. Wait until you see Mom's face when I tell her. She'll be so proud. Agreed. She is always pleased when her orders are followed. You have served this community well. All of us can now resume our scheduled activities. Linda, you need to help me turn off the generator. Linda, you need to help me turn off the generator. I think it's making everyone act weird. I am unable to comply, Betty. I can't do it on my own, Linda. It doesn't have levers. Abandon this course of action immediately. The generator must remain operational at all times. Fine, don't help me. I'll find Mom and she'll put an end to this. 
Okay, well, I'm, I'm not sure what's up with that generator. What's up with your eyes? I found a super secret military base. What's up with your eyes? My eyes are functioning normally, Betty. But they are... shiny! And yours appear to have lost their spark. Please attend re-examination at your earliest convenience. I'll keep that on my list of things not to do. Yeah, it doesn't seem too smart to get re-examined. There's something odd about you, but I can't seem to put my finger on it. There's something odd about you, but I can't seem to put my finger on it. I am behaving perfectly reasonably, Betty. No, you're not. In fact, I have an upsurge of joy when I recall your invaluable cooperation in fixing the generator. See, here's the thing. I can't tell if you're being sarcastic right now. Betty, I would never use sarcasm while conversing with you. That would be unorderly of me. That's... See, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, yeah, that's the issue. All right, I found a super secret military base. I found a super secret What do you have to say about that? Base. Your job did not involve exploring the base. Why did you deviate from your established mission? Wait, you knew about the base all this time? By the way, that general and I, best buds forever. If your visit was related to the general's business, then everything is orderly. I think I'm good for now. A fond farewell, Betty. Okay, so... Elizabeth Anderson. The community has informed us that you are behaving outside stipulated parameters. Please proceed to re-examination immediately. Uh-oh. <sighs> Remember when I said we were asking too many questions? Yeah, buddy. This is totally on you. Well, I'm just doing what the game wants me to do. Alright, so what else can I... Perhaps I could fill my time by making this vehicle work again. No, that would be an unorderly use Everything of my Everything is normal. Our citizens do not need vehicles. Where else could they want to go? Where would I go with it? Hmm. Let's take a look at this I don't car. I not much about cars, but this is gorgeous. What else can I mess Mr. with? Mr. Hardy, sir. Let's leave the chit-chat for later. Okay, so... I think we're done with talking to people for now. Uh oh. Elizabeth Anderson, you must attend re examination immediately. Please come with us. Yeah, right. You're gonna have to catch me first. Uh oh. He has a gun. Okay. Oh my god, game over. I didn't even know you could get a game over in this. Wait. It's a bit too early in the game to find yourself in an unorderly pickle. Don't you think? I'm giving you a second chance, so try to be more orderly this time around, okay? Wow, okay. Is it just me, or was that a very awkward conversation? Alright, so... That, that was weird. Alright, so let's try to play the game a bit better. And not get a game over. I'm probably like the only person ever to get a game over in this kind of game. Um, so where do I have to go? I have to go here. I gotta go and talk to Ben. And let's see, what else? I gotta get some gas from this gas tank. So, let's see. Um, actually, no. Okay, no, I gotta go and talk to the this priest. Truck has been painted blue. Okay, we gotta come back here later. Let's go to the church. Let's go down here. All 
Alright, so we're going to ask the priest about this holy water and this uh, Necronomicon. I think we're able to. Let's see. Hello, Father. There are some more things I want to talk about. Nightly greetings, Betty. Nightly what greetings. Seems to be the pickle? Are you familiar with curses? Are you familiar with curses? As a member of the clergy, I am only familiar with the process of blessing items. But isn't cursing just the opposite of blessing? Come on, it can't be that hard. You make an excellent point, Betty. A simple reversal of the blessing process should be sufficient. Well, I think it would be a shame not to test such an excellent theory, don't you? I cannot find a reason not to test this theory, so you must be correct. Okay, and we show him the holy water. So he's going to reverse bless it. There we go. It is done. Holy crap, it worked! I am pleased to have proven your hypothesis. Okay, I gotta, I gotta go. go. Then safe partings to you, Betty. May order be with you. So I think we have everything we need now to do the uh, the Necronomicon task. Uh, these are all the items we need to do that. Um, I guess, what do you call it? A curse? I'm not sure what you call it, but we got to use it in the uh, mayor's office. Okay, let's go and open up this little hidden compartment here. And let's pick this up. Alright, so let's see what we can do with this. Alright, um... I guess I just click on Nothing one of these. Good. Some of these spells consult. No, okay, we, we heard this. Using warning. Some of consult your attorney with known flood granting and turn. Okay, I didn't. Use I didn't want to do that. Let's go to this page. So let's see if we can try this. There we go. O nobilis panose arche cultura exaudime vasti spati ac temporis pervere. Dona mihi scientiam ut discipiam extemporate la tebra. Whoa. So it looks like this thing uh, hello? opens Anyone portals. There? Just me. Uh, I'm the dogs, by the way. Doctor? What? Yes, yes, nice to meet you too. Now, do you need anything? Because I'm kind of busy here. Re-examinate! Re-examinate! Yeah, actually, uh, have you seen my mom? You think your mother would be here at the end of space and time? I mean, maybe? That's what did. Wait, wait a minute. Is your mother Eliza Barrett? Yeah! Oh, I haven't seen her since our trip to London. Wait, call the doctor. <laughs> oh, there he is. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I really have to go. But before I do, one thing. When you do find your mother, please remind her that I am not allowed to vote in your dimension. I wonder if this is a Doctor Who Good reference. Luck, Bye. Wait, how do you know I've never I seen the show, so... Okay, let's try that other spell. Okay, let's go back. So we tried this spell. What about this one? A crushed soul and an unbelievably sharp sword. Not sure I can find those at Lorraine's. Um, a crush, a crush, a crushed soul. Okay. A sinner's skull, the wing of a fallen angel, and the tears of God? What kind of cookbook is this? Oh, you know what? I wonder if I can... How many times can I do this spell? 
You're wasting your time, buddy. Sorry, buddy. It says limit one per customer. Hmm. A crushed snot. Okay. A cr not. Heard that one. What, 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 what is this spell? Okay, apparently we can use it. Avaritiam gluti a convera, trux facies piscem olens. Sine mutuem tu nadone sequendi trans trepitum tu sis perpetue. You're missing out. What am I missing out on? Uh, sorry to interrupt your dinner, miss. Betty, Betty. Uh, yeah, that's right. I'm Betty. Have you seen my mom? Wicked, Trixie, false. Yes, but you didn't have to be so harsh about it. Anyway, have you seen my... Ooh, what's that shiny thing you've got there? Can I have it? No! Nasty pranking Bettyses! Leave now and never come back! Okay, okay! We told her to go away, and away she goes, precious! Okay, so I think that's... I think that's gonna be a... Lord huh. of the Rings she reference. Kind of familiar. Kind of familiar. Okay, let's see. What else do we have? Huh. Did we click on that one? Oh, solitare juvenis, sancte milito, rei innocentiam tutor, exurge! Rebi mihi dulcem vehelem uteram her scruter late braque per veteres in veniam. What, what is this one now? Doctor Who, it's a great series. Yeah, I should check that out sometime. Hello, Betty. I am the Hardy Industries 3000, but you may call me Hit. I can do anything you require of me. Cool, a talking car! Can you take me to my mom? I am not qualified to overrule her wishes, which means I can't take you to your mother, Betty. Oh, so then you can't do everything I require. Uh-oh. You confused it. Hit! What was that about? Well, that was a huge disappointment. Okay, next spell. Okay, we did this one, we did that one. We did that one. Huh. So I guess this person was talking to us. Okay. Alright, and we got a blank page here. Inc you animum simie, extra mundiales beleator quid leta visti imperatorem gelatum. Recollige orbes ante plenilumium, ut desiderata adimum This, this kind of sounds like Valerian from Game of Thrones. But you guys wouldn't happen to have seen my mom, would you? We're in the middle of a fight! Get lost! Come on, that's no way to talk to people. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't think we've seen her around. Hey, I know! We could ask the dragon! You idiot! You can't oh, this is Dragon Ball Z! <laughs> well, it was worth a try, I guess. Good luck with your battle. Thanks! Good luck finding your mom! That's Goku and Vegeta fighting. <laughs> that's cool. All right. So I guess this thing opens up portals to other dimensions and universes. So this looks. Oh, so I guess this thing's like a a great ape, but it's like dead. All right. So what do we have here? This thing looks. All right. Let, let's click on it. Uh, uh, necktie? I can't read the last word. 
Nectar? Noodle? Nickel? Eh, I'm sure no one will notice. Kladuvaradani... <coughs> Juice! Yeah, nailed it. No, you did not. And with this great error, you have unleashed me from my hellish prison. <laughs> Betty, you've doomed us all. Fire will rain down from the skies and rivers will run. So I wonder what references this is this is gonna be. But don't worry, there's still time. Just cut off the hand, and cast it into the portal. Quickly. Um no. It's just that I'm pretty attached to both of my hands. Curses! Foiled by Betty. Curse you, Betty Anderson! Curse you! Maybe that's a reference to a Stephen King novel? I'm not sure. Okay, what else do we got? Find all five ingredients and form a pentagram with them. Find the right spell, recite it, profit. Profit. Support your local coven. Place your ad here. Okay, well, let's see. I think this might be the last. Yeah, this is the last one. So let's use this spell. Animar un perquisitor. Damnation fuscator. Vincite voluntas pretoris ad reveniendum. Scopum depone me Hercule. Veniam dato. Oh, it's the gender. There he is. Now he should know where our mom wow. is. Now that's what I call an entrance. Is that you, Mistress Eliza? You have returned from your trip to the desert earlier than expected. Have you perhaps forgotten something inside the research room? Wait, he thinks I'm mom? And what is she doing in the desert? Hmm, I should probably check out that research room. Maybe I'll find some answers there. Is something amiss, Mistress? Yeah, I wonder what's in that room. Um, so... I guess we gotta trick him in, into thinking we're we're our mom. So let's see. Use a direct approach. I think all these work. Let's deliver a speech. Yes, Bucky, it is I, your beloved Mayor Barrett. I am many things, obsessed with bureaucracy, a lover of all things dull and unexciting, and a consummate offspring ignorer. <laughs> But what I am not is someone capable of opening that door. That's why, in the spirit of community togetherness, I implore you to let loose the keys of access and embrace our new open door for Utah. Apologies, mistress. I am having difficulty identifying the request in that speech. Just open the damn door, Bucky. Yes, mistress. Okay, well, he turned a easy task and in, task into a hard one, I guess. Maybe I should have used a direct approach. All right, so what we got here? We got a map of the United States. Out of all the places to mark in the forty-eight states, someone chose Corona, New Mexico. What could possibly be important there? Maybe that's where our mom went. Rona, New Mexico. I don't need a map. Besides, it's nailed to the wall. We got a bunch of clocks here. Hong Kong, New Mexico time, Barcelona, big red button, microphone, and special delivery. Let's pick this up. Mom just leaves her mail everywhere. What's that poking out? Dear Eliza, it always hurts to say goodbye. I'm leaving you for the weekend. I hope you didn't stop at the I'm leaving you or I'll be in trouble when I get back. Anyway, I'm just going fishing at my parents lake house. It would be nice to have you here so we could enjoy some quality time together. You know, away from Betty. 
Just imagine swimming naked under the stars as they shine only for us. And if that's not sexy enough, we could try shotgun fishing too. Who is I this guy? I wish love for me was bigger than your hatred for Corona. But the offer's on the table anyway. Love, Lincoln. Lincoln? P.S. So you won't get lonely. I left you something to remember me by. But you can't take it out of the envelope until you answer this riddle. Underwear, underwear. Where have I left my underwear? What the? Ew! <laughs> Come on, Mom! You can't just leave these lying around. Okay, now we have underwear for some reason. Mother of a prankster! Did Mom go see her boyfriend while I almost died fixing the dam? <sighs> I'm mad! Okay, pal, time to look for some wheels because we're going on a trip! Okay, now we need a car. So she went to Corona. Uh, let's go and take a look at this big red button. Ooh, button! And it's a nice big red one. Should I press it? Nah. Yeah, let's press it. Haven't movies taught you anything? You should not press big red buttons. I kind of want to press it, though. Eliza Barrett! Eliza Barrett! Your family is looking for you. Come to town hall right now, Missy, or you'll be grounded for a year. Oh, yeah, we got to pick up that paint. Got to do that. All right, so we... Clint, what is Clindathu? Barcelona, London. I have better things to do than start redecorating. Clindathian for its three minutes to midnight. She has alien time? Faltan tres minutitos para la medianoche. New Mexico? Why is she speaking Spanish for that? Faltan tres minutos para mi chanit. Okay, so I think we're done here. I really want to press this button. Listen, if you want to push something, can you maybe just boop your own nose? What if we're all just cartoons on TV? And this is the off button for the remote control. Let's think this through for a moment. This is in my mom's office. What if pushing it cuts my allowance in half? Wait, what if pushing it doubles my allowance? Hmm, decisions, decisions. I really want to see what this button does. What if it's one of those slapstick gags and a giant anvil falls on me? Just press it. No, seriously, we could break something. And I don't think Linda is in the mood to fix stuff. Come on, pr press what it. What if it opens another portal? To hell. Or what if it's not just hell, but broccoli hell? Bro oh, that sounds scary. Okay, fine. Go ahead. Make me push it. Just remember one thing. I tried to warn you. Whatever happens now is 100% on you, pal. Aw, oh, crap baskets! Told you something would happen. This whole noir vibe is <laughs> neat and all, but it might be a bit too murky for our game. Oh, okay. Let me see if I can fix it. Out of the frying pan and I into just the... changed the graphics. Whatever the heck this is. At least I could tell the floor from the table last time. I can barely make out the button. Let's try again. Whoa! Not gonna lie, I love the retro look. Still, I'd rather go back to HD. Whoa. Whoa. This looks cool. <laughs> I guess this must be what happens when you drink a whole bottle of Mike's groovy ketchup. Far out, man. He speaks everything. Shot at this. Yeah, given how she, she doesn't oh, come off as a everything looks like a smart person book. and she Can knows all these like languages. Betty. I'll be super prankster with my loyal sidekick, Red Chitlin. Together we... No, Betty. Aww. Oh, what? Oh, shoot. <laughs> See, this is what happens when I do what you tell me to do. Now what? Am I going to be a doodle forever? Come on, buddy. Do something nice for once and press that button, would ya? Oh. So I have control. Let's push it. There we go. We're back to normal. And now the button's closed. Okay, let's get out of here. We're done goofing around. I really need to get 
to Corona. I should check out that car in Linda's workshop. Okay, let's go and before we do that, let's go and run to the park right quick and pick up that paint. We're going to need that. All right, let's go over here. And let's take that paint. Can I paint? Can I pick it up? It's a can of red paint. Like a can of blue paint, but red. Okay, I, I think I gotta get Bucky to leave. Oh, Bucky, I was wondering where you went. Nightly greetings, fertilizer. What seems to be the pickle? Fertilizer? I'm not fertilizer. Isn't it a bit late to be painting benches? Isn't it a bit late to be painting benches? This particular task is first on my list of priorities for tonight. But it's dark. How can you see what you're doing? Any time I can serve our community is a perfect time. Oh, uh, okay. Excuse me, Betty, but I must continue with my assigned tasks. Unless you require anything else. Okay, can I borrow your paint? Can I borrow your paint? Swapping tasks would be most unorderly. I paint, you fertilize. That is the established order. What if I told you it was for something extremely important? I am always willing to listen to a member so when of he, our community. When he says fertilize, is he referencing that our we have a task to water the plant called Chuck? I wonder if he's talking about that. Can you guess why I need it? I guess it's time for a heart to heart. Uh, just give me the stupid can. Bucky, I'm the mayor. Just give me the stupid can. You are not the mayor. If you do not give me that paint immediately, I will pluck the last few hairs directly from your worthless scalp. My apologies, mistress. I had mistaken you for your offspring. Please accept this humble can of paint. Oh yeah, that works. Now we have paint. Now that I have been relieved of my paint can, I shall be on the lookout for fellow citizens. We wouldn't want someone to sit on the bench while the paint is still wet. Oh, so he's just gonna stand there all day or all night. Okay, so. Okay, we can't do anything else red here. Red is the most appropriate color for this object. Correction. Now we can go to Linda's. Paint, not wonder. So let's get out of town. Let's try to let's try to take that car at Linda's and go to Corona. What's up? Let's leave the chit chat for later. Oh. Okay, so I can't talk to her. I can't see the keys anywhere. Maybe in the glove compartment? <laughs> Almost there! Got it! Ooh, I got it! Damn, it's empty! Oh, never mind then. Hmm, I should ask Linda. Okay, now I can talk to her. Hey, Linda! Guess who's back? Me! Nightly greetings, Betty. What seems to be the pickle? What is the pickle? Do you happen to have the keys to that car? Do you happen to have the keys to that car? I am not in possession of the keys. And why would you require them anyway? Mom's off playing around with her boyfriend instead of paying attention to me. And I want to go to Corona to teach her a lesson. The keys are an inmate Laszlo Hardy's possession. And even if you were to acquire them, it would be a meaningless effort because the car has no fuel. Don't worry, I'll take care of that later. Betty, allow me to issue a warning. If you proceed with this course of action, the only place you'll be going is re-examination. I think I'm good for now. <laughs> a fond farewell, Betty. Okay, so we gotta talk to Laszlo. Betty, are you perhaps planning on leaving the town? No. No? Let me remind you that leaving town is highly unorderly behavior that will not be tolerated. Why don't you ever let me do what I want? 
It is my prerogative to keep your shenanigans to a minimum. Ah, fool! <laughs> Booey. Okay, so... To the jail we go. Laszlo, I need your help. Hey, glad to see you're still around. Ugh, you again. Neat car. Mind if I borrow it? Neat car. Mind if I borrow it? <laughs> yeah, not a chance. Nobody puts their hands on my Betty and lives to tell the tale. Wait, whose hands on me? No, not you, my car. Why would you name a car Betty? Hey, it's a beautiful name. Well, can't argue with that. Anyway, uh, where is she? Gathering dust at Linda's garage. If you told me where the keys are, I could take her for a spin. Right here with me, but <laughs> you're not getting them. Okay, so what? Hmm. How can I get the keys from him? He doesn't want us driving his car. Well, let's... Let's threaten to hotwire it. Alright, guess I'll see if Linda knows how to hotwire a car. <gasps> hotwire? Have you lost your mind, Betty? Hey, I'm willing to negotiate. Tell you what. I have this coupon for a free cake from Mike's Diner. Get it for me, and then I'll trade you for the keys to my car. Deal? Sure, why not? Sounds easy. Okay. There's one really important thing you need to remember. I love surprises. I want a surprise with my cake. Wink, wink. Got it? Okay, this coupon is from Mike's Diner. Huh. Okay. This cake coupon is from Mike's Diner. You sure about this, buddy? As sure as a man can be. In that case, I want the keys up front, just in case your body is not ready. Oh. <laughs> I'm definitely ready for my surprise. Whatever that means. Okay, so Betty's too dumb to know what surprise means. What do you want in exchange for those keys? Okay, so he wants a cake. I just wanted to catch up with you. You know, what you've been up to, the places you've seen. Oh, look at you, mocking an innocent man. Alright, let's go to Mike Steiner. I'm not sure what kind of nasty cake he's going to make. But I know it's going to be nasty. Okay. Um, let's look at this coupon. Get a whole free cake at Mike's Diner. Not valid from Monday to Saturday or on non-expired cakes. Closed Sundays. Okay. So, uh oh, hey I, I do not want to talk Nightly to her. Greetings. Never mind. I'll see. I will see you. Okay, let's show Mike this coupon. Let's get a cake. Hey Mike, can I have a cake? I am unable to comply with your request. Cake is not an authorized comestible. But I have a coupon. Wouldn't it be just as unorderly to not give me the food I have a coupon for? You make a good point, Betty. Do you have any special requests? Why don't you just surprise me? Why don't you just surprise me? The customer is always right. So apparently he makes cakes. Is that is that a sausage link on the refrigerator? Every time I look back at his ki kitchen, I just get more and more confused. Like, how are all those pots of pans balancing on themselves? Oh, that's a cute cake. Let's look at it. What's so surprising about this cake? Okay, apparently, apparently Mike knows what the surprise is. Um, Lola. Ah, uh, yes. Rule six. Hey Got there. another dialogue. Lovely greetings, Betty. What seems to be the pickle? Have you heard Slim had to retake his exam 18 times this month? 
Have you heard Slim's had to retake his exams 18 times this month? Yes, I am aware. Why so many? If that's how high school works here, I'm moving. Mr. Slim is a curious individual. The longer he remains in the vicinity of a female, the more he requires re-examination. I bet all that flirting is taking a toll on his grades. Maybe we should send him back to kindergarten. Unfortunately, that is not an acceptable solution. But worry not, Betty. Mr. Slim's troubles will end once he is terminated. <laughs> I have a better idea. Put him in charge of watering Chuck. Admirable attempt, Betty. Admirable attempt. So it seems like... Seem, seems like Slim's about to get killed. Does everyone, does everyone take as many exams as Slim? Does everyone take as many exams as Slim? The top three re-examined individuals this month are... Third, John Slim. Second, Betty Anderson. First, Ben Zinn. Oh. Wait, Ben's still in high school? Isn't he like a hundred or something? Mr. Zinn requires examination almost every time he sees a red item. That's not fair. Ooh. I demand his So that's going to be a clue to one of the puzzles we we're that, about Betty. to do. However, based on your current projections, I estimate you will be in the lead by the end of the month. Ha! I win! Wait. Damn it. I didn't think that through. Never mind. I'll see you later. I will see you again for your next appointed meal time. So it seems like being terminated just means being killed. What could have happened to these people? I've been away for a couple hours at most. Okay, let's go back to Laszlo. Yeah, these people are acting very strange. What's up, Laszlo? Here is your cake. All right, I got your cake. Happy j anniversary, Laszlo. Oh, you got me the one with the surprise, right? Yeah, I think so. I'm not sure. Uh, cake is cake. You want it or not? Cake is cake! You want it or not? <laughs> Hand it over! Uh-uh. Not so fast. Where are the keys? Well, if you can't trust an inmate, who can you trust? <laughs> the police? The government? There he Enough goes again. The conspiracy theories. You get cake, I get keys. That was the deal. Ugh, fine. Pleasure doing business with you. Now, if you don't mind, I've got some cake to eat. In peace. Yep, enjoy yourself. Uh, come on, come on. Where's my surprise? Ha-ha! <laughs> there you are! <laughs> I can't wait to see Amos's face when he sees that I'm gone! Okay, well, good for him. Now that he's about to escape, he won't get attacked by that squirrel. I mean, chipmunk. Alright, so we have the keys now. I'm not sure how he plans on leaving town, though. Lazo's since we're taking keys. his car. The keychain has something written on it. Party alarms, because sometimes a lousy chihuahua isn't enough. Okay. All right. So, let's go... Let's go over here and talk to Ben. We need to get some gas for this... For this car at Linda's. So, let me see if I remember how to do this puzzle. So, you gotta turn off the light here. And what else do I gotta do? Let me take a look. I think I gotta give Ben this communist newspaper. I start with my little I, something that starts with R. Quack. Quack. What's he talking hey ben, about? Have you read the latest news? There is no need, Betty. Everything is orderly as it always has been. Are you sure? Take a look at this and tell me what you think. Okay, so Ben what doesn't like communism. Man. Stalin? The 
the Soviet motherland? Common ownership? <laughs> Damn communists! So I'm guessing he used to be Can't in the army since he's wearing the while? same uniform as those uh, military guys. So what else do I gotta do? I gotta paint his car red. Now, let's just paint over our little freedom blue car with a nice shade of revolution. That's a dumb looking chicken. There's no way Ben wouldn't notice. Like, we're, we're making so much noise. That's nice, but it's going to need a little friend. Okay, now that Ben's... We gotta use this star. So now his truck looks like a... Everyone this twinkle, truck. twinkle, little star. You now have a commie car! And then... I think I gotta use this fuse to light up this light. Confining unorderly people until they have been re-educated? What a harmonious course of action. Wait, there is something unorderly about this pickup truck. I don't recall it being red. <laughs> no! 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 Happy. Hold tight, my sweet. Stay with me. Don't you dare leave me. This is just a bad dream. Oh, no. <laughs> Wake the hell up. So I wonder if he's going to get executed now. Is he has to get get re-examined now? No! <laughs> you tarnished her, you goddamn comic bastards! Wait until I catch those damn Bolshevik baboons! <laughs> Don't worry, Lucille. I can still fix this. All I need is a brush, and some blue paint, and some stars. She needs stars. I just gotta find 47 more, and she'll be okay. 47? I guess they had 48 states <laughs> back in the 1940s. <laughs> Who am I kidding? There's no way I can fix this. The paint's already drying. Please, God, I beg you, take me instead, but don't take her from me. Damn, he's being so dramatic. Just some paint, man. Lucy! There's only one thing left to do. I'll always love you, Lucille. Goodbye, my sweetheart. Now you can rest in heaven's junkyard. Amazing grace. This guy, come on. How sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I was not long, but now. Oh, wow. This isn't just weird, it's downright bizarre. Yeah, bizarre no is the word. Acting like themselves. Alright, let's get let's get some gas. Alright, uh gas can and some some gas. Hey Ben, mind if I help myself to some gas? Oh, he don't care. He don't care. I'll take that whining as a no.
Okay, now we have everything we need to go. Got a full tank of gas. A gas can. Filled to the brim with fuel. Yep. Ooh. I wonder if we can go down here. I guess not. Doesn't seem like it. Oh, we're back to Ben. Well, that was highly unorderly. After I complete my rocking chair patrol duty, I must submit myself for re-examination immediately. Oh, if you do that, you'll probably get killed. Or terminated, as they call it here. Okay, let's get out of this stinking town. Alright, let's fill her up. Alright! Fueled Ooh. up and ready to rumble! I'm sorry, cat. Damn, that cat's everywhere. Ready to leave town? Yep. Let's go. No need to drag all this stuff around. But I'll keep the plunger. You never know when one of these will come in handy. Linda, I'm taking this car with you. Like the or not. plunger. This is probably going to be used in, like, the last puzzle of the game. If she Betty, keeps holding on to it. Your actions will result in re-examination. I beg you to reconsider. Sorry, Linda. Can't hear you over the sound of... Final warning. Get out of the car or face re-examination. Oh, sorry, Linda. I interrupted you. What were you saying? Stop right... <laughs> Re-examinate. Re Get out of town! Now! Jeez, Linda, make up your mind already. I said run, you fool! Okay, okay, I'm leaving. But only because I want to. Oh. Burning rubber. she old enough to drive? Wait, she should be. Only, well, okay, we got a new chapter. The Vanishing of Lincoln Porter. So I think I'm going to play through this chapter too for this session. I think this is a pretty short chapter. Well, if mom came this way, she probably found the same roadblock. Maybe Lincoln's place is somewhere around here? I should ask for directions. Okay, so the bridge is out. Um, how am I supposed to get to Corona now? Mom must have taken the scenic route. Let's look around. And, let's see. I think there's some items I can pick up. There's a big fork. Let's look at this. Someone stuck it deep in the stone. There's something written here. Take me up, cast me away. Take me up, cast me. Let's read these inscriptions. Whosoever pulls Excalifork from its resting stone, should they be proven worthy, Excalifork. shall earn by divine right the rule of the farmlands and become the once and future king of the farmers. Well, let's pick it up. Maybe we should figure out how to become worthy of this thing. Okay, well, I guess not. Um, what else? Medium-sized rock. Can I pick this up? There we go. Now we have a rock. Anyways, we gotta go to... Oh, there's a mailbox here. What's in here? Ooh, someone's mailbox. And it's full of letters. Jackpot! It's a magazine. Mystery Meat Monthly by Chef Mike. Ew. Oh, what's this? Oh, there's a sample of Gloopy attached. Okay, we got Gloopy now. 
So even Mike's trying to peddle his nasty food to all these people. Oh, we got a rock, underwear, Lincoln's underwear. Gloopy, Mike's nutrient-packed goop. It's food, but feels like Play-Doh. Okay, so it seems like there's a farm over here. Ooh, this looks nice. Well, strike me blind if it isn't little Betty Anderson. My, my, but how you've grown. I'm pretty sure I've been the same size for as long as I can remember. Wait, you know me? Oh, I see what you're doing. Pretending to have lost your memories again, hey? I'm not pretending. I have actually lost all my memories. You know what's gotten lost for real? Berta. That poor old cow is nowhere to be found since your last visit to the farm. What are you talking about? Nice try, Betty, but you're not fooling old Roscoe anymore. Oh, and if you want to take picky on another one of your scavenger haunts, tough luck. She's grounded in the barn. Okay, um... I'm looking for my mom. Have you seen her? I'm I guess this guy mom. knows us. Have you seen her? She might be around here looking for some guy named Lincoln Porter. I haven't seen our mayor in ages. Lincoln. Why is that name so familiar? Lincoln. Lincoln. Oh, the airfield's ace. Yeah, best pilot these eyes have ever seen. Well, that was until your mom and he had that thing. What thing? Thing? What thing? You know, when two adults are having a roll in the hay. Mom would never do that. She'd get her suit all dirty. Mom would never do that. She'd get her suit all dirty. I'm not talking about actual hay, Betty. They've been, uh, doing squat for us in the cucumber patch. <laughs> Couldn't they just do that at the gym? Couldn't they just do that at the gym? I'm trying to say she was having her corn ground. I don't, I don't know how someone could have fun with corn. I don't know how someone could have fun with corn. She's not getting it. Unless you turn it into popcorn. You're not getting it. Ever heard of butter in the biscuit? <laughs> butter in the biscuit. Biscuit? What are we even talking about anymore? Biscuit? What are we even talking about anymore? They were getting primal, Betty. Primal! Ooh. Uh, wait. When did we start talking about dinosaurs? Wait, when did we start talking about dinosaurs? Fornicating, Betty! They were fornicating! Ew! You take that back, mister! My mom would never, ever do something like that! <laughs> Aren't you evidence <laughs> to the contrary? Well, she's not. Never, I said. She's not very End smart. Of story. Anyway, I haven't seen him for a very long while. Who knows? Maybe he left town or something. How would he leave town? The bridge is out. You know, Betty, a lack of a bridge isn't much of an obstacle for a pilot. <laughs> anyway, where do you think he went? Not a lot of options left. You got the airfield, but that's been abandoned for months. Then there's the hiking trails, but you'd have to be crazy to wander around there. Let's say I want to look for Lincoln in those trails. Without a map, how would I find my way around? Let me tell you, if you go there, you'll either get lost, get eaten by a wild critter, or fall off a cliff and break your neck. Say now, if you're looking for someone, I could lend you my Star Tracker picky. Uh-oh, I hear a butt coming. But, since you've been pranking me for so many years, I figure you owe me one, or two, or three. Crap baskets! Let me see. Why don't you go fix the welcome sign at the edge of town? I've been meaning to do that okay. for a while, but you might as well take care of it. Oh! And you remember Berta, right? No. Doesn't matter. I don't know what you did with her, but you're gonna get her back. She's probably pretty ornery, so take this. 
Damn, those are some big pills. Who the heck is Peaky? Peaky? She's just about the best trekker in the whole county. Oh, she's a doggy. I love doggies. Are you okay, Betty? Did you hit your head harder this time? So, what do you do around here? So, what do you do around here? Really, Betty? Okay, I'll play along. What do you think I do around here? Uh, farm stuff? <sighs> I'm a poultry farmer. Chickens? Cool. Where are they? Are you little? <laughs> okay, so I think something something happened. Have you been to town lately? Have you been to town lately? No, nah, there's really no reason for me to go into town anymore. I'd rather stay here and keep my animals safe. Did you know that everyone in town lost their memories? Did you know that everyone in town lost their memories? Oh, come on, Betty. Not that one again. Huh? Oh. Look, the everyone in town has amnesia prank wasn't funny the first time you tried it. And it hasn't been funny the last 20 times either. I'm pretty sure I've never done that. Plus, I'm telling the truth. Uh huh. Okay, so this is this isn't the first time that's happened, or this situation has happened. Why are you worried about the animals not not being safe? Why are you worried about the animals not being safe? Around this time last year, I saw some scumbag with a hood skulking around my barn. <gasps> Wait, so? Not many people just wander up here, so I got suspicious. I headed out to confront him. But before I could reach the barn, there was a huge flash of light and a massive kaboom. Scared the life out of me. By the time I got my witch back, the bastard was gone. But he left a calling card. Poor Flora. She was Picky's mom. That hooded scumbag butchered her. I'll never forget that sight. Okay, so you haven't noticed anyone acting weird? So you haven't noticed Well, there's no one really here. out here. Like I said, haven't been to town in a while. But don't you have to deliver the milk? I haven't received a milk order in over a year. Last time I was in town, everyone was eating some goopy stuff. These town folk and their fancy diets, I tell you. Why don't we talk about something else? Okay, um, why'd you get so worked up when I mentioned the chickens? Why'd you get so worked up when I mentioned the chickens? I, I don't want to talk about it. Why not? Because remembering that day hurts, Betty. All of them are gone. All of them. You know, sometimes it helps to talk about this kind so of thing. So they were devoured right before my eyes. <laughs> oh, all these chickens well, got isn't eaten. Well, is their purpose in life? To be eaten? But not like that, Betty. Not like that. Enough. No, really, what's the difference? Enough! Okay, we... I think we pissed them off. Can we talk to them again? So, what are you cooking up this time? Uh, can you tell me more about Lincoln? So apparently he's a pilot. Can you tell me more about Lincoln? What's in it for me? The sooner I get answers, the sooner I'll be on my way. <sighs> Go ahead. Tell me more about his relationship with my mom. What was Lincoln's job at the airfield? Let's go with this what one. What was Lincoln's job at the airfield? He was a pilot. I mean, aside from the obvious, like what kind of pilot? A plane pilot. <laughs> <laughs> Not as funny when you're the one on the receiving end, eh? Just tell me something useful, would you? Oh, all right. He used to pilot that flying boat. Well. Until the accident, that is. Not long after that happened, the military evacuated the airfield and shut the whole thing down. Last time I saw him, well, he was out of his mind, ranting and raving. It's all a ghost's fault, if you ask me. G ghost w What ghost? Didn't you know? The airfield's haunted. Oh, it's haunted. haunted. If you get close enough, you can hear this ghastly voice singing in a language that creeps the hell out of me. 
Okay. Um, what do you think happened to Lincoln? What do you think happened to him? I don't know him very well, honestly. But last time I saw him, he seemed pretty unhinged. Kept begging me to let him hide somewhere on the farm, but wouldn't say why. Okay, do you think he was running away from mom? What do you mean by un unhinged? Let's let's go with this one. Unhinged. He was shouting all kinds of crazy nonsense like we're all doomed. What do you think he was running away from? No idea, but whatever it was, it scared the hell out of him. This is going to sound weird, but I saw the pl this plane wing into yeah, we did see a plane wing uh that crashed into the motel. This is going to sound weird, but I saw this plane wing in town. Do you think it can be linked to Lincoln's disappearance somehow? Maybe. What kind of plane wing are we talking about? A big the one? Kind that can total a motel. Holy cow! Is Sam all right? Sam? Who's Sam? It doesn't look like anybody's been in that motel for a long time. Poor Sam. I hope he survived. If he didn't, May God rest his entrepreneurial soul. Anyway, what did this wing of yours look like? I don't know. Huge? Made of metal? Oh wait, it had a white star painted on it. I'm not sure, but that does sound like Lincoln's plane. How do you know? It's a small town, Betty. There ain't that many planes. Okay, so it was his plane. Alright, so... I think we're done with you know that. What? I think I know enough about the guy already. Um, let's see. What else? What, what else? I could use some help. What does this I do? Could use some help. I'll do my best. You know anything about that big fork at the crossroads? You know anything about that big fork at the crossroads? It's stuck in a stone and I can't pull it out. Only those who are worthy may pull it from the stone. Okay, so means we can't pull it out yet. Worthy, what are you talking about? Worthy? What are you talking about? There's an old legend around these parts. Only the one who treats farm animals with respect and speaks with pure truth may take Excalifork from its stone prison. So how do I pull it out? Are you going to tell me the legend of the pork? <laughs> okay, so how do I pull it out? So how do I pull it out? All I know is what it says in the legend. Only the one who treats farm animals with respect and speaks with pure truth may take Excalifork from its stone prison. Okay, enough fooling around. Enough fooling around. So I guess this guy tell he's kind of like a hint dude also. All right. Um Thanks, Roscoe. Thanks, Roscoe. Your job here is done. So we're pretty much done talking yeah, to this guy yeah. for now. You want anything else? Uh, let's talk redemption. Let me see what this does first. Let's talk redemption. Sure thing. What do I need to do for you to lend me picky? We already know about this cow. About okay, so we have three I things we need to do. I realized that there is no redemption without action. So maybe I should get on that. Anyway, see you around, Roscoe. Hey, Roscoe, there's something I gotta tell oh. you. What is that? I knew this day would come eventually. Well, let's hear it. Someone, uh, may have, uh, read all your mail. Oh, Betty, I forget. Wait, <laughs> what? I thought you were going to apologize for everything you've put me through over the years. Gee, Roscoe, even if I could remember doing anything to you, I don't think I'd apologize for it. <sighs> well, maybe you can save me a trip to the mailbox at least. Tell me. Did I get good news or bad news? It wasn't really any... Yeah, it wasn't really any news. It was just Mike trying to sell him some meat. Uh, invent a wild story. Let's go with this there one. There are secret government vans headed towards your farm with mangled corpses inside. They sent a letter about that? Why not a telegram? It seems urgent. Because it's a conspiracy. 
The desert climate will prevent the bodies from rotting. Then, the government can harvest their organs and implant them in ordinary humans. Also, they can create a race of super soldiers who can fight space battles. Against who? The Finnish. Also, the Koreans. Why? North or South? Both parts of Finland, Roscoe. It's literally a catastrophe of cosmic proportions. One that could wipe out life on the entire planet. Betty? <laughs> yeah? He doesn't believe Please me. don't read my mail again. Okay. Okay. So I think we're done here. I think that... Yeah, we can't do anything in the barn yet. Uh, I think I gotta take this... Hey. Oh. Okay, I guess... Alright, alright. I guess I can't do that right now. Cows. The deadliest predators known to mankind. Wherever grass is involved. All right, so I think we got to go to that air base. Airfield, rather. And we got a person we got to talk to. And that's her. Boja, someone's come to rescue me. Ah! Ghost! <laughs> what are you saying? Her I'm hair popped ghost! off. I'm not a ghost. I'm a reporter. You must help me, yes? Nice try, but that's exactly what a ghost would say. A ghost would claim to be a reporter. Yes, no, aha! Nice try, ghost, but you can't trick me. If I was a ghost, could I not walk through the wall? Yet, as you can see, I cannot. Please, you must help me. Uh-huh. Okay, listen. I'm Natasha Nancy. Nancy Peterson. I've been trapped in here for a long time. You must help me out. Well, Nancy, you see, if someone put you in there, it must be for a reason. Well, Nancy, you see, if someone put you in there, it must be for a reason. And I already have enough on my plate tonight, so... What? No, you can't do that. Wait, please, what is your name? Uh, Betty, I guess. Betty, I guess, please. You must help me. Some very Betty, weird I guess. people put me in here. Why does all this weird stuff keep happening to me? Because you're it's in like a wacky I'm video crazy game. Crazy or something. All right. Secret prototype. All right, Nancy. I'll see what I can do. Great, great. That's the spirit. You see the keypad by the door, yes? Yeah, but I have bad news. It has no levers, only buttons. Good. You need to input the correct code, but you cannot guess, okay? You will need to find a military device used for encryption and decryption. Pony Mayesh? Wow, you ever notice how shiny this keypad screen is? Shiny? What? Betty, have you been listening to me? Yeah, yeah. Correct code, military device, get you out of there. No worries, I got you. Okay, so if it isn't obvious to you, uh, she's she's obviously a Russian spy trying to steal a secret prototype in here. I guess a plane or something. Um, what do I gotta do? Uh, I think I gotta go up here. What does that do? Okay, so that turns on the light there. All right. Looks like I'm gonna need something to keep it in place. So yeah, according to my notes, I gotta use a duct tape on that, on this electrical box here. And that should hold it in place. So what happens now that I have this fixed? Oh, Wolfie. Oh no, the Chupafakas! <laughs> the Chupafakas! Not Get them. Get away from my cows, you fiend! I won't let them end up like the chickens! So I guess that's what ate... I guess that wolf ate the chickens. 
Okay, what's this? Self-inflating weather balloon. Maximum weight, 1,800 pounds. That's a couple of Garricks, give or take. Okay, so I think we gotta take this weather balloon. P40 Warhawk. Some people have a lot of time on their hands. And talent, too. Okay, that's all that she says about that. Security lock. We can't really help her right now. Um, let's go up here. We know exactly what you're thinking. What is Ben doing right now? No one gives a... No one cares about Ben. Fine, maybe you weren't thinking about that, but let's go and check on him anyways. Yeah, no one cares about Ben. Worry not, Lucille. Your unorderliness has been quelled. And you are once again whole and hail. So Pray forgive my mistreatments and let us coexist in harmony once again. So apparently he he fixed the gunshot bullets that were in the side of his uh, car. Apparently he fixed that pretty fast. So we got a cow here. Oh no, my pranks are coming back to haunt me. Curse you, past Betty. Always one step ahead of me. Roscoe's missing cow. Now, how do I get her back to the farm? So this puzzle is kind of weird. Uh, and it's kind of wacky. So we gotta get, we gotta get this cow to eat some hay. And we gotta put this potent animal tranquilizer in that hay. And then use the weather balloon to take the the cow back to the farm. So we gotta go grab some hay first. So let's do that. Okay, now that the cows are scared, let's pick up this cow food. All right, can we look at this this wolf here? Cloud cover sucks, sky. I'd say this is a beautiful full moon, but the clouds are ruining the view. Oh, so the wolf thinks this is a full moon. That's why it's there. Okay, grain silos, scared herd of cows. Nothing says fear like the sight of the Chupavacus under a full moon. Damn. And they lost their appetite too. Okay, what else? What else? Can I go in here? Not yet. Hey, you have no business there. All right, so let's go back to the airfield. Now we have everything we need to move that cow out of the way. Okay, so let's see. Let's see what I can do. I think I gotta combine this with the with the hay. And that's what I call a sleepy meal. And what else? What else? I think I just give this to the cow. Now we should be able to move past I come in peace and Berta. Gifts. Edible gifts. I wonder how how she got this cow up here. It fine. You're imagining things. Uh oh, uh oh, the cow's sleepy. All right, so now we can use the weather balloon to take Sleepy Bird out of here. And apparently, that takes Another the cow back to the farm. Concocted by me, Betty. How's she going to land, you ask? We'll let future Betty worry about that. Future Betty. Future Betty's going to be pissed off at Betty. Or a future Berta is going to be pissed off at Betty. He is not going to shoot the cow. Did he shoot? 
Okay. You shot the weather balloon. Alrighty. So also, uh, right here is going to be a, a like a clue to the next puzzle we got to do. We got to throw a rock down here. What is this? A landscape. Where will you be when agrophobia kicks in? Up a giant freaking tower, apparently. Okay. So let's go in here. First the cow, now the door. Is everything in this world intent on keeping me from... Oh, it's unlocked. Yep, it's unlocked. I don't even know what to look for. Okay, so we have navigation charts here. This looks like a control tower. Apparently, the control panel here has been blown out. Wow, what the heck happened? I'm not saying there's a conspiracy to keep the town isolated, but it's starting to look that way. Okay, so there's a lot of stuff here. I think we can pick up this water bottle. And we can pick up this gas mask. Smelly boots. Can you pick that up? Why would I even touch that? Guess not. Um, let's take a look at this navigation chart. A navigation chart. It helps you find things on the map with coordinates. Can I pick it up? I don't even know what to look for. I guess not. What else can I look at? Files. Let's read them. From command. No, General, there is no take your daughter to work day on this base. Especially if she's a better shot and pilot than most of our soldiers. Okay, so... There is no bring your daughter to work. Um, button, flight list, control, panel, DEFCON. DEFCON 2? What the heck did that cow do? DEFCON 2 is pretty serious. Okay, let's push this button. Ooh, what's this? This isn't our usual milk run, sir. That film badge you're wearing should have been a clue. We're headed to Alamo Gordo. Don't worry, it shouldn't take more than a few hours. Hey, home in time for breakfast with Eliza, huh? What was that? Uh, home in time for breakfast with Ms. Mayor, sir! Very funny. You're cleared for takeoff. Roger that. Okay. Lieutenant, let's see how you ride her. Three-point takeoff. So I think this is going to be a flight log. Landing gear up. Keep climbing and increase speed to 160. Level out at Angel's 10. Juliet 81 Sierra to airfield 84 control. We got something on radar. Are you picking it up? Whoa, boy, that was fast. Sorry about that, 81. Whatever it is, it's heading right for you. Recommend evasive action. You ain't kidding. Lieutenant, hit the... 8-1. 8-1, come in. Tower, this is 8-1. It took out a wing. We're going down. This is Colonel Lincoln Porter speaking. To all crew, bail out. Bail out. Thank you for flying with us. Please take a moment to locate your nearest exit. <laughs> Bearing in mind, it may no longer be attached to the plane. If that's the case, jump out of whatever hole is most convenient. 8-1. 8-1. Status. Did you hit your head, Colonel? No, but we're about to. I'm going to try to make an emergency landing away from the town. We can't risk a... Control to 8-1. Control to 8-1. Please respond, 8-1. They're gone. Porter better not be dead. He still owes me 50 bucks. Airfield 84. Well, that guy has his priorities straight. We have a broken aero situation. Last known coordinates are 33 degrees, 41 minutes, 26 seconds north. 105 degrees, 43 minutes, 42 seconds west. Please advise. That was the end of the recording. It must have happened before the airfield was abandoned.
One of the trails gets us real close to the crash site. I say we check it out. So it seems like that was... Hold on, what's going on? Okay, so we're automatically going to the hiking trail. Oh, this is the crash site. Well, no one can say we didn't try. This was a nice adventure. I had fun, you had fun, and now this only leaves us with one option. Going home! Nope. Okay, okay, let's do can't this. can't leave. So apparently that was the flight log of Lincoln. He was the one piloting this plane. And while they were flying, something had hit it while it was in air in the air. And one of the wings broke off and fell on the motel. And then the main plane crashed here in this canyon. So it doesn't seem like we can do anything at this moment. You can look around. So they got a cable and an engine here. We're going to need to get these two engines to stop. Considerable canyon. I can't see the bottom. Is it just me or did the art team forget to draw it? <laughs> All right, so let's let's get out of here first. So I believe doing that just unlocks this area here. This is another area we're going to unlock later. Okay, let's go back to the farm. I think we completed everything for the farmer here. We got the light turned back on. We got the, the cow back. What was the other thing I had to do? So, what are you cooking up this time? Okay, can you tell me more about Lincoln? About that sign down the road? About that sign down the road. About that sign down the road. Is it fixed? Um, tell him the truth. Oh, shoot, I knew I was forgetting something. <laughs> Can't fix a memory with duct tape, can you? Just write it down or something. Okay, so let's see. So apparently I gotta fix I that just sign down the that road. There is no redemption without action. So maybe I should get on that? Anyway, see you around, Roscoe. Okay, so I still have that duct tape, so I, I I'm I'm gonna assume that I gotta fix this sign with duct tape. Alright, so let's fix it. I don't know about you, but we read those where I'm from. So, he must be talking about this sign. Welcome to Corona. Even the signs are mocking me now. Sign down the road. Here's the trail map. Eagle Rock Trail. The meanest trail for the most hardened hikers. I can't fix it with my bare hands. Okay. So, he must be talking about this sign. There we go. Good as new. It says come to R. I'd say that's a job well done. Welcome to. Good to know where we're at, huh? <laughs> Who's that? Welcome to. Eh, eh. All right, now we are done with all of his tasks. I fixed your sign and saved Berta. What now? Saved isn't the word I'd use, but I suppose all's well that ends well. Now, go grab something Picky can use to track that fella. Great, what should I bring her? Just anything that might have his smell on it. Clothes usually work pretty well. And they said I was a weirdo for carrying around my mom's lover's underwear. Who'd ever say something like, wait, you did what? It's been a long night, don't ask. Okay, can't. Oh, I forgot to look at Roscoe's house. Ah, farm 
living is the life for me. <laughs> Ew. Never mind. So you smell all that manure. Change your mind. Oh, look at that. Who's this? Oh, wow. Look, it's a cute little piggy. Oh, who's this cutie? Wow, those are big words for such a tiny piglet. Oh. Is it mad at us? You're lucky you're so cute, or I would... This must be Peaky. Okay, so let's give Picky the underwear. I thought this was going to be a dog or something. Why are you so angry with me? Do we even know each other? Listen. Whoa, whoa! Before you get mad, I think you should know that everyone in town has lost their memories. I can't remember you or anything else about my life. No, it is not a prank. Why does everyone keep asking me that? I'm just trying to find my mom. That's all. <laughs> a whole year? Well, if it's been that long, we should probably catch up. Anyways, sorry to do this to you. <laughs> if it's any consolation, I had them in my pocket the whole night. <laughs> Oh, don't quote me the Geneva Convention. Just sniff them already. <laughs> it's not exactly a fresh scent, but it's worth a shot. I guess the... I guess Picky get, has the scent of She's Lincoln's ass. Scent. Let's follow her, quick. All right. So I think I was supposed to pick something up here in the barn. See you later, Roscoe. You better bring her back in one piece! Wait, are we going hiking? Okay, so Picky opens up that other path to the hiking trail. Oh, is that a dog? We got a dog here. Hey there, doggy. What? What the fuck? Ain't no dog. Pinky, where are you going? It's a damn it's lion. It's a big cat. Guess she's smart enough to know her way back, right? What? Why is that thing here? Cougar. That's a cougar. What's a cougar doing here? All right. Well. Can we look at it? Wild cougar appears, and it's terrorizing a poor defenseless lever. Okay, so we got to get to this lever. Uh, we got to go back because we missed some items in that barn. Okay, so I got to pick up this meat. And what else? A small size rock. I need that. What else? Haystack. Blanket. Okay, we need this blanket too. Can't believe we're just robbing this dude. We're just taking all his stuff. Haystack. Picky. Can we talk to Picky again? Picky probably hates us. Hey there, cutie. I really want to know more about our friendship. I really want to know more about our friendship. <laughs> yeah, what? What did we do? How did we meet? How did we meet? <laughs> <gasps> I seriously doubt that broccoli brought us together. You take that back right now. <laughs> my mom would never abandon me in the desert until I finished my broccoli. Would she? Yeah, I'm not sure. God damn it! I will have a serious talk with her when this is all over. Anyway, thanks for eating that ugh, stuff for me. Uh-uh. I don't owe you anything for that one. You enjoyed it! 
That makes us even. How did you and I become so close? How did you and I become so close? <laughs> well, weddings do bring people together, and I'm glad I could introduce you to Linda and Garrick. But damn, putting us at that children's table was a jerk move on Amos's part. <laughs> <laughs> I just wish I could remember the look on Amos's face when he saw Ben in his bride's honeymoon lingerie. Wait, Amos is married? <laughs> Was? Oof, I guess his wife didn't trust him any more than I do. Enough catching up for now. Let's change the subject. Okay, what else can I... And that, that, that's wacky. Roscoe told me what happened to the chickens. What a catastrophe. Catastrophe. Roscoe told me what happened to the chickens. What a catastrophe. <laughs> then what is the worst part? <laughs> you saved that many? You gotta tell Roscoe. He'll be so happy to know they're alive and well in Argentina. <laughs> what do you mean, tried? <laughs> oh no, that's horrible. Out of the frying pan and into the fire. How did you not notice the plane's engines were on? <laughs> you can still hear their screams coming from the crossroad. Oh, I'm sure that's just your mind playing tricks on you. <laughs> yes, really, pal. Okay, so fill me in. What did I miss this past year? Uh, yeah, let's go with this. So, fill me in. What did I miss this past year? <laughs> Let's go ahead and exhaust all the dialogues. Uh, my condolences. What exactly happened to your mom? You could have come and visited me, you know. All right, let, let, let's go ahead and continue the now? main story. I changed my mind. Now. Let's let's get out of here. Really can't understand what this pig is saying. Okay. So now that we have the meat, we can, ooh, triple medium sized rock. Can I pick this up? Yes, I can. Okay, so we gotta throw this meat to the cougar. Here, kitty kitty. Catch. And now we have access to the lever there. Okay. Boom barrier, rope, minecart, and weight indicator. So I think I can take up I can pick up this rope. Yeah. And let's take a look at the, the right this weight, stuff here. I'm certain the platform will align with the rails. In the minecart. Mm, with the right weight and some much needed protection, I could ride this into the mine. Not sure why we need to do that, but. Boom barrier. More like a buzzkill barrier. It only opens when the cart has the right load in it. Okay, so I think that's all we can do for now. Weight indicator. I like crystal. From the looks of it, this barrel is full of super-sized grains of salt. Okay, let's pick this up. I guess we need it. Alright, what else? Safety sign, planks. Listen up, chumps. I've told you before. The minecart is a tool, not a toy. Willie took a joyride last week, and he's not coming back. So unless you have all of your safety gear on, you don't set one foot inside the mine if you don't want to be dead, or worse, fired. Remember, helmet, goggles, and mask. No exceptions. Okay, so this is going to be another puzzle. Uh, we already have the gas mask. Later, we can pick up the helmet and the goggles from somewhere. There's no way inside unless I can smash through this. Hmm. Wonder if I can smash through this with a with a rock. 
I get what you're doing, but I think my hands would break before the wood would. Okay, that doesn't work. I could have sworn there was another thing I could pick up up here. I guess not. Tampering with it won't do us any good. Okay, can I mess with this mine cart? If I could put on enough weight to lower the platform, I bet I could ride this cart into the mine. However, I should find a way to guarantee my safety first. Okay, maybe, yeah, I don't think we can get anything else here. All right, let's, let's get out of here. What's this? Okay, that's how I leave. Okay, so where do I need to go? Let's go here. So I think I have enough enough items to do this puzzle here. So we need to stop these engines. We can do that with this rope. Yeah. Okay, and that stopped one of the engines. Let's have a look at this one. Where is Linda when we need her? She'd wrench this engine into oblivion. I'm pretty sure she would. It would be very helpful here. Um. Hmm. Not sure. Night. Let's look for a way that doesn't end in me falling down the canyon. Please. Okay, we're going to need something to disconnect this cable. So I think I gotta go back to the airfield for something. Oh, it's this. Okay, so I can use the big fork to disconnect that uh, electrical pl plug. Hmm. Whosoever pulls Excalifork from its resting stone, should they be proven worthy, shall earn by divine right the rule of the farmlands and become the once and future king of the farmers. Hmm. So I should be able to pull that out of the rock. I guess not. Okay. Anyways, let's go up here. We gotta break down these rocks. Did you feel that? Feel what? I guess the wind? She's talking about the wind? Okay. We just gotta drop this rock down here. Wait a second, buddy. What are you trying to do to poor Rocks Pierre? Rocks Pierre? Oh, Got a problem with that? Uh. Yeah. I paid good money for this game, Betty. Now do what I say or else. You think you can force me to do something like that? Well, think again, buddy, because I'm not doing it. Oh, I wouldn't dare. Well then, say goodbye to your save game because this is the last time you'll see it. Oh, what? What? Hey! What? Hey! What? What? what what's do? What's going on? What's she doing? Your PC ran into a problem with Betty.exe and needs to restart. A sincere apology can fix it, but what do I know? I'm just a screen. Wow. Alright. Oh. Okay, uh, while you wait, Betty suggests you visit the, the website. Betty, I promise I will not do it again. Cross my heart and hope to choke on... Mike's Meatballs.com <laughs> Priceless, you should have seen your face. Okay, okay, I accept your apology. And don't worry, I'll throw this dumb rock. But it's because I want to, not because you told me to. Well, it's the only way we would gain past this section of the game if <laughs> is if you Drop that damn rock. Alright. 
Um, I think that's all we gotta do up here. Okay, let's pick that up. And she's still there singing in Russian. Okay, so I think I gotta turn off the lights here. How do I do that? Um, okay, so I use this water bottle on this what are you doing? electrical are you completely panel. Nuts? Do you even know what would happen if you tried that? You have to take the cap off first. Oh. Duh. Then we can pour water on the tape and make it less sticky. Okay, there it is. So now that light is down and the chupa kava, whatever you want to call it, should be gone. Oh. Ghost chickens. Okay, so I might be able to pick pick this big fork out of this rock. There we go. That worked. Mm, I have a sudden urge to milk cows and shovel cattle manure. Okay, be worthy of pulling the farmer's Biden from the stone. So that's an achievement. So there's probably another way of getting past that puzzle without doing that, but I'm not sure how. Maybe someone watching knows. All right, so let's see. Let's use a scallop fork. There we go. So I think I have everything I need to do this part. So in this scene, we can see the moon. Apparently it's not too cloudy here. Um, I think I gotta use this. Let's see if I can use this. Good enough to send half of me to the other side. Unfortunately, I can't split in half. So we need another... We need two pieces of cloth. I'm not sure where they're going to be, where the uh, last piece is going to be. Maybe at the farm? Yeah, let me just pull. Let's go here. Okay, maybe there's something in the in the barn. Oh, I don't see anything here. Got haystacks. Okay, maybe I gotta talk to Roscoe. So, what are you cooking up this time? I need some help, Roscoe. I could use some help. I'll do my best. Okay, I need to enter the mine, but it's blocked off. Hmm. Yeah, let's go with this one. I need to enter the mine, but it's blocked off. Got anything that can bust through those old planks? You'll need something hard and heavy if you want to break through. Darn! Isn't there a back door or something? In a mine? What? I don't know how mines work. <sighs> back door. Let me think. You could try explosion. Nope, never mind. That's <laughs> that, yeah, idea. that's that's a bad I idea. Guess you could set it on fire. Nope, nope. <laughs> uh, maybe the carts. Now there's an idea. Yeah, if you could get one of those old mine carts rolling, you might be able to plow right through the barricade. But I'll let you test that theory. Okay, I can't figure out how to get that. Okay. Thanks, Roscoe. Your job here is done. Yeah, yeah. You want anything else? Um, can you tell me more about Lincoln? Can you tell me more about Lincoln? What's in it for me? 
The sooner I get answers, the sooner I'll- <sighs> Okay. Go ahead. Oh yeah, we never asked him about this one. Tell me more about his relationship with my mom. Tell me more about his relationship with my mom. Well, I can tell you how it all began. It was the middle of July a couple years back. The airfield had just been built, and naturally, the mayor was going to inaugurate it. Had the red ribbon and everything ready. Then one of the planes performing for the event starts showing off. Capping it all with an amelaman turn and cutting right through the ribbon before Eliza could get to it. Ruined the whole thing for her. Oof. I'm guessing she didn't take that very well. Oh, you have no idea. That fight was legendary. They were at each other's throats for hours on end. Okay, but how did all that result in a relationship? Well, you already know the rest. <laughs> you know what? I think I know enough about the guy already. Okay. I'd better get going. See ya. All right. Um I'm not sure how to get past to to that um Actually, let yeah, let's go back over here to the plane. Maybe we can find a clue on where to find this uh, other piece of cloth we need to get over here. Okay. Ah! <laughs> Oh, Betty, you gave it your best jump, but without the wind on your side, you're left stranded in midair. You can't help but feel the cool breeze as you plunge to your death. Ah, if only there had been some water, at least you would have made a splash. So this is uh, a reference to the the old Sierra adventure games. Like this screen would pop up every time you you die. <laughs> you stop trying to kill me, and I won't share your search history. Okay, that's a deal. Okay, so... Doesn't seem like we're going to be able to jump to that other section. So maybe there's something I missed at the airfield. Hmm. Okay, let's see what we got here. We got bombs, bombs, more bombs, spotlight. Let's take a look at this. No, careful! It might bite. Okay, can we talk to Nancy? Nancy? Da? What was I looking for again? I knew you were not listening. Of course I was listening. I was just uh, thinking really hard about what you said. Uh, what did you say again? You need to find a military device used for encryption and decryption. Okay, how will I know what I'm looking for? Are you sure you don't want have one lying around in there? Where could I start looking for that? Where could I start looking for that? Airfield personnel must have access to that kind of device. That doesn't help me very okay, much. Okay, so it's going to be on that crash plane. But how do I get to it? Alright, thanks. Got it. I can only hope you do. Okay, maybe I missed something in this control no. tower. Ew. Okay, let's see what's up here. We have have control panel oh, lights. I not touch that. It seems important. Uh, flight list. Are you looking for trouble? Because that's how you find yourself in trouble. Got a button here. So I already pressed that one. 
It stopped at three minutes to midnight. Ooh, that's the title of the game. Okay, so it doesn't look like there's anything here. Um... Yeah, I don't have anything that I could use. Some people look at this and just see a blanket. I, however, see infinite possible combinations. Okay, let's see. Can I... Can I combine this? Go to sleep, random object. Sweet dreams. Well, that was fun, but pointless. Okay, that doesn't work. Are we supposed to be smashing things now? Okay, I don't I don't think any of these are gonna work. So I'm missing an item. Okay. I'm not sure where to find it though. There should be a way to get onto that plane. Okay, so we can't go there. Let's see what we got here. I know I've got deep pockets, but they're not that deep. Hmm. Hey there, girls. How's Boo. Whoa, rude. Boo. You. Well, it's no wonder she left if you talk to her like that. Okay, let's skip past this one. I have a feeling I left something here. Look, I've had enough hay in my pockets for one day. Ay caramba! It's a haystack! How about I try looking for stuff in these hay haystacks? Actually, you know what? Let me see if I can talk to Picky some more. Hey there, cutie. About the things I missed this past year. Hey, about the things I've missed this past year. Um, let's go with this option. You could have come and visited me, you know. <laughs> I'm sorry you got grounded for that. I'm guessing that pranking Berta was my idea in the first place. Well, if it's any consolation, that totally came back to bite me in the ass. Okay, so... My condolences, what exactly happened to your mom? My condolences, what exactly happened to your mom? <laughs> What a coward! Attacking poor defenseless animals! <laughs> Good thing Roscoe managed to scare the killer off, huh? I never- Just remember that if you embark on a journey of revenge, dig two graves. <laughs> In that case, you'd better dig three graves. If I can't convince you to change your mind, I'm going with you. Ride or die, pig. Ride or die. <laughs> Okay, did you miss hanging out with me? Did you miss hanging out with me? <laughs> hey, what do you mean, sort of? <laughs> you missed me, but not pretending to be me? What the heck are you talking about? <laughs> okay, no offense, but I'm pretty sure people can tell the difference between a pig and a wig and me. <laughs> okay, that's fair. Thanks for passing my English final for me. Okay. Come on, there must be at least one subject I passed on my own. Come on, there must be at least one subject I passed on my own. <laughs> what about art? No one ever fails art. <laughs> what can I say? My art makes an impact. A huge explosive impact. So, um, did I pass? <laughs> How about we talk about something else now? Okay, um, alright. That'll be all for now. 
So apparently, you gotta use the plunger to get to the airplane. I'm not sure how that's gonna work. Okay, that's the wrong way. Let's go up here. All right, um, let's run up here and let's use the plunger. And I think I got to wait for the wind to stop blowing. All right, there goes nothing. That's kind of crazy that that thing just explodes right at the time I'm trying to jump across to it. All right, now we are in the plane. Or what's left of it. And what else? What can we do? I see a weird typewriter. Let's take a look at this. That's the weirdest typewriter I've ever seen. Um, let's pick it up. So I believe this thing... Let's take a look at it. That's the weirdest typewriter I've ever seen. I don't think this is a typewriter. I think that kind of looks like an encryption or decryption device, but... Oh well. I mean, Betty really doesn't know too much. Einstein Rosen, Suck a Sock Bridge Project. Stealing left socks from American households since 1935. All these years, people have been blaming their washing machines for eating their socks when it was actually a top secret government operation. Hmm, why do I have the feeling there's something behind this cargo net? Okay, can I mess with this? Apparently I can. Ooh, there's a red lever there. Lever! I miss them so much. Seriously, why doesn't every scene include at least one lever? Let's see what this does. Whee! Well, the last lever we put... <laughs> Oh, what the, oh my gosh. What? Ugh, ugh. Damn, that's nasty. Oh yeah, the last, the last lever we pulled electrocuted us to almost death, so. And then that one just did that. God damn. All right. Um, what else can I do here? So that's where the rest of the plane went. Um, let's go and check out this head. Ooh, neat goggles. Okay, that's one of the things we need. Forgetting. Anyway, hello, Betty. I've been waiting for you. There is no Betty, only Zool. Only Zool. Huh? It's a ghost joke. You wouldn't get it. Anyway, what's your story? It was a stormy night. I... The sky is that a seemed Ghostbusters be reference? Lightning I can't cleaning. remember. You died in the plane crash, didn't you? Ah, gosh, you freaking god. Yes, I died in the plane crash. I'm Walter, by the way. Nice to meet ya. Ew. Ugh. Nice oh. to meet you. Looks like we got some ghost juice. Why are you still here? Why are you still here? Aren't you ghosts supposed to be chasing after some bright porch light or something? Those are moths, Betty. You see, after the crash, my spirit was ready for the final journey. 
when a storm of fear, pain, and agony struck me. Scenes of an unspeakable poultry massacre presented themselves to me. Feathers flying, beaks silent, spirits shattered into pieces! So, chickens didn't make it, huh? Shattered into pieces, like chicken nuggets. You're stuck here because of chickens. Seriously? That is crazy that he's, like, the chickens are keeping him here. Let's go with the funny option. Shattered into pieces? Like chicken nuggets? Sorry, please go on. <laughs> the trauma of their sudden, brutal, and gruesome deaths left their spirits fractured, completely lost, and doomed to an eternity of wandering this cruel land. Sadly, the chain of my fate binds me to this place. So I've been waiting for someone with a kind heart to help these poor souls reach their final resting place. And you believe that someone is me? Well, it's not like I have much of a choice here. Okay, I'll help. But after this, you all go to the light, deal? Deal. Now, take this. Oh, what's it's that? A spectral containment unit. It's designed to ensnare and transport them safely back to me. Okay, got it. Let's help those chickens cross the road to the afterlife. Oh man, I totally forgot. These ghost chickens, super shy. I'll let them know you're coming in peace. Okay, um... Walt, lay it on me. What's the secret to snagging those ghost chickens? I think I have an idea on how to do that. Um, do you know where I can find Lincoln? Do you know where I can find Lincoln? Not since the crash. I can't believe that lucky bastard made it. I thought he'd be in Corona with my mom, but the bridge is out. Eliza Barrett? In Corona? Yeah, right. What's next? You becoming a straight A student? Hey, at least I'm alive. So, what actually happened to you guys? So, from the sounds of things, something had hit one of the wings? What actually happened to you guys? That thing, it just appeared out of thin air. And before we knew it, we were going down. It happened too fast to make any sense of it. You got any theories? Well, yeah, but it's a shot in the dark, really. It could have been the Soviets with some new tech. But between you and me, it didn't feel, it didn't feel of this world. Huh. So maybe aliens are behind this. Do you ever get scared of living people? Do you ever get scared of living people? Only when they start chanting in Latin and throwing salt around me. Okay, is haunting like a full-time gig? Is haunting like a full-time gig? Oh yes, it's around the clock haunting. No days off. It's a real dead-end job. Ha ha ha. Ha ha. Can you guys really go through walls? Can you guys really go through walls? Oh, definitely. It's one of the perks, along with scaring cats and messing with light switches. But it's less, ooh, and more, whoops, wrong room. Can you switch haunting locations or is it like a timeshare? Huh, that is a good question. Can you switch haunting locations or is it like a timeshare situation? That would imply I had a choice. No, this is pretty much a ghost until you're toast kind of deal. Who's the most famous ghost you've met? Who's the most famous ghost you've met? Can't say. The Spectre NDA is pretty strict. NDA? Casper the friendly ghost. Uh, but let me tell you, he's not so friendly when you beat him at poker. Okay, um... Let's go ahead and ask him about the chickens. Well, lay it on me. What's the secret to snagging those ghost chickens? Welcome to Ghost Chicken Snagging 101. Here's the golden rule. FCB. Feed them, contain them, bag them. To snag a ghost chicken, you must think like a ghost chicken. What's the spectral equivalent of chicken feed? Yes. <laughs> okay, uh... 
All right, so that's the hint he gives us. Is it true that every ghost has a treasure hidden away? Is it true that every ghost has a treasure hidden away? If by treasure you mean eternal boredom, then yes. Okay, if I said Beetlejuice three times, what would happen? If I said Beetlejuice three times, what would I've happen? I've never seen that movie. Do that, and you'd get a guy in stripes who won't stop talking about home renovations. Okay, so I think that's all we can do Bye, for now. Bye, Betty. So we gotta run back to the farm and get some chicken food. As the saying goes, all roads lead to Rome. Or in this case, the crossroad. Okay, can we can we look at the chickens? Huh, a ghost chicken, huh? Just when I thought I'd seen it all tonight. Okay, can I We're touch it? We're dealing with ethereal entities here. Grabbing them with my bare hands is off the table. All right, let's let's go over here. So I think we have pretty much everything we need to catch the chickens. We just need one thing from Roscoe. So, what are you cooking up this time? Cooking up a solution to the puzzle. I could use some help. I could use some help. I'll do my best. Hey, Roscoe, check this out. I can't figure out how to get that minecart moving. Wouldn't happen to have some chicken feed, would you? You wouldn't happen to have some chicken feed, would you? Sure. Take this. Okay, there we go. We got chicken feed. Thanks, Roscoe. Your job here is done. Yeah, yeah. You want anything else? Nope, I'm good. I'd better get going. See ya. Okay, so... Let's see. So we got ectoplasm. We got Snagaghost 8000. That's how we're going to con uh, capture the ghost chickens. But we have a we need to make a way of containing them so we can bait them out with the chicken feed and I think the ectoplasm. Ectoplasm, rumored to be the spectral goo that gives objects a taste of the other side. Okay, maybe I combine this with the chicken feed. There we go. And let's see, what else? Gloopy. Gloopy! Mike's nutrient-packed goop. It's food, but feels like Play-Doh. Huh. I think I gotta combine this with... This crystal? A giant chunk of salt. If we smash it up, we could refill a fleet of shakers. Okay, so, yeah, we can... So this is basically like salt. We can contain them with the highlight, highlight crystal. So how about we combine it with the gloopy? The halite crystal's too big. We'll need to grind it down before we can mix it with the gloopy. Maybe with this rock? Oh, there we go. Okay, so now we have salt. And then we mix it with the gloopy. The reason we're mixing it with the gloopy is because the gloopy is going to be like Play-Doh. So we have salted gloopy. I think we have everything we need. All right, let's try this out. Um, yeah, I've been streaming for a very long time, four hours. Okay, um, so let's use the salted gloopy something. Let's use it on the ghostly pluckers, actually. I think I use the chicken feed first. Actually, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to use first. Okay, I use that first. Feed. Okay, maybe yeah, not. The lure part was easy, but to keep them corralled long enough to trap them, we'll have to get supernatural with our creativity. Okay, maybe I use the Does gloopy. Does this look like a ghost chicken? I use the gloopy first. And this is going to keep them corralled. 
And then I use the feed on the spectral pin. All right, there we go. And then I use the Snagaghost 8000. And we got the chickens. Mission accomplished. And let's take this back to to the ghost dude. What's up, man? I got the chickens. Hey, Walt. Who you gonna call? No one. Ghostbusters. Bones don't work on this side. You're no fun, Walt. Anyway, here are your chickens. Thank you, Betty. How could I ever repay you? Well, just promise me you're not going to eat them. Oh, well, this is me. See you on the other side, Betty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can't believe he ghosted me. Can't believe that guy did that. Wow. All right. Well, anyways, we get we get his head for a reward. Property of Walter Walt Walters. Triple W. Bye, Walt. I wonder if that's like a reference to Triple H, like the wrestler. That guy's that guy has triple W's in his name. All right. So what else we got? So we got the pilot goggles and the gas mask. Weird typewriter. So we got to go to the airfield now. And now we should be able to free this Russian spy. I think her name's Natasha or Nancy. Okay, so let's take a look at the security lock. Make a guess. Eliza, the hell out of it. Drop the C bomb. Oh my gosh. Try to hypnotize it. Uh. You know what? Let's let's see what this does. Chuck Norris. Oh. What the hell? This never felt me before. You door are either very brave or very stupid. But in any case, you've made a powerful enemy tonight. Try to bamboozle it. It's critical that you let me in. Why? Um, I've got friends inside. It's my birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday. Okay, let's leave. Let's leave it for now. So let's let's get through this puzzle here. So we have this typewriter thing. We can use it on the security lock. <laughs> Five zeros? Wow, that's pretty sad. I could have just figured it out myself. Wow, that's crazy. Oh, oh my. I feel so bad for that cat. Poor cat. Keeps getting terrorized by Betty. I am free. Well, no need to thank me. Honestly, after seeing you fumble around like a headless monkey, I thought I would be trapped in there forever. Hey, it might have taken me a while, but I got you out, didn't I? I can always put you back in. No, 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 no. Do not do that. Please. You are correct. My manners were lacking. Spasiba, comrade. You're welcome. Okay. So now we have opened this little... Can we talk to Nancy? I guess we can't talk to her yet. Let's look in these crates. An SR-71 Blackbird. Wow, so beautiful! <gasps> I know what I 
want to be when I grow up. A blackbird. A wasp keeper. What? What? What is she talking about? No, thank you. I only fly commercial. I have monotophobia. Monotophobia. I gotta look that up. Military personnel protective equipment. Helmets. It's always helmets. Why is it never a trip to Vegas or something? Okay, so we can get some helmets from here. And let's go ahead and put this stuff together. So we can put together this, actually, let's put the gas mask and the goggles together first. Safety levels are going through the roof, but it's still not enough. And we should put this together with that. It won't get safer than this. I'll name it the Gray Matter Anti-Liquifier 7000. Patent pending. Patent pending. Sure is. Oh, wow. It's actually named that. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you safety at its finest. The Gray Matter Anti-Liquifier 7000. Trademark pending. Do not steal. Okay. Um... I think we're good to talk to Nancy now. Nancy? Duh. Duh? Have you lost your memories too? Have you lost your memories too? Of course not. Why would I lose my memories? Almost everyone I've met so far has, so I think it was a fair assumption. What terrifying technology does your government possess? That it's able to erase an entire town's memories Wait, you think the government is behind this? I can't be sure, but I'm telling you this. I'm not going to wait around long enough to find out. But after all the time you've been here, what's a bit longer? Oh, right, that wasn't by choice. Sorry. Okay, that accent of yours, it sounds... non-American. That accent of yours? You're not from around here, are you? Duh. I'm North American, but from the Eastern regions. Like from Maine? How am I supposed to know? I'm American, not a geographer. Oh, well, I that's, can't argue with that's that. true. If you're actually American, why do you talk like that? If you're actually American, why do you talk like that? This is how everybody talks in Maine. It's a very low population state. We don't have much practice. Oh, really? then I'm sure you wouldn't mind answering a few questions that anyone from Maine should know the answer to. Proceed with your interrogation. I am not afraid. Okay, what's the biggest festival in Maine? What's the climate like in Maine? Let's go with that one. What's the climate like in Maine? What does that even have to do with being American? Answer the question! Every child in Maine knows the four seasons are winter, Still winter, even more winter, and finally not winter. That doesn't make any sense. Where are spring, summer, and fall? Things are different back east. Oh, right. You passed the test. Oh, <laughs> God damn. Did Maine have a team in the World Series this year? Did Maine have a team in the World Series this year? How would I Surely know she doesn't I've pass this one. Here for months. Based on those answers, I guess she's about as American as I am. Oh, well. I guess, I guess, I guess Betty's right. What's the biggest festival in Maine? What's the biggest festival in Maine? Of course, it is the celebration of Victory Day. Wrong! It's the International Potato Rolling Contest! How could you not know that? How do you know that? I thought you couldn't remember anything. Well, I don't know. It's like I remember some stuff, but nothing important. Well, in any case, I was probably out of town that day. So how could I have known there was a festival? Oh, yeah, I guess that makes sense. Okay, who's the governor of Maine? Who's the governor of Maine? Yuri Andropov. Okay. Andropov? <laughs> That doesn't sound right. Yeah, that doesn't you sound right. Him. Who is it? Eh? I, um, I really don't know. 
Maybe you're the one we should be doubting. Are you perhaps a Soviet spy? What? No! Uh, you pass! You pass! That's about it for me. Good. That is good. Oh, wow. I, I can't believe Betty hasn't... Well, actually, I can't believe Betty. Um, how did you get stuck in there? How did you get stuck in there? It that me that Lincoln and the mayor. They set me up. Wow, who would have thought my mom could pull such a killer prank? Shh, your mother? Mayor Eliza Barrett is your mother? Whoa, that was my exact thought when I first met her! Met her? Tell me, is she with you? Nope. <sighs> Slava Bogu. Yeah, we're looking if for her. If she were around, I'd have an urge to strangle her. Yeah, she tends to have that effect on people. You actually know Lincoln? You actually know Lincoln? Know him? He and your mother are the reason I'm trapped in here in the first place. Do you know where I can find them? Did you not hear anything I said? They did this to me. Why would I help you find them? I don't know, because it was probably just a misunderstanding? Because it's the right thing to do? Because they could be in danger? Oh yeah! And because I'm the only one helping you out, and you want to keep me happy. Okay, okay, but I do not know very much. The day I was trapped, I overheard a strange conversation between some soldiers. They mentioned something about an unorderly person running for the hiking trails. They seemed very interested in finding him. Why didn't you do something? Because I was trapped. Oh, yeah. That. Okay, and let's see. How did Lincoln and my mother set you up? How did Lincoln and my mother set you up? They gave me the entry code for this hangar, but forgot to tell me it was a one-time authorization. How sneaky! But didn't it occur to you to just leave the door open? No, but you see... Or you could have grabbed a weapon. That hangar is full of them. You could have easily blown a hole in the wall. Yeah. Or she could have, like, climbed up to those windows. That. Or you could have piled up some crates until you could reach those windows. It would have been a short slide down that wall to freedom. <laughs> how was how, how is Betty outsmarting yes, this person? Under pressure. I mean, you could have just dug a hole. Look, the floor is just sand. That would have taken you a few hours, tops, even if you were digging with just your hands. Ooh, or you could have also... Enough! You have made your point. You are far more intelligent than I am. Happy now? Can, uh, can you please repeat that last part? Boja, pajalista. Ubeimenya. Okay, what's that plane in the hangar? Actually, do you know what happened to the town? Do you know what happened to the town? Why would I? Isn't it your job to know things? Why are you questioning me? You think I am some kind of Soviet spy sent to investigate this town? And any top secret American projects they might be working on? Oh, are you? No. <laughs> Great, then I can use your journalism skills to investigate the problem in our town. What kind of problem are we talking about? Yeah, see, people are going around with shiny eyes talking about examinations and being orderly and sometimes sparking i had not heard of this project what'd you say oh nothing i'll help you just give me a few minutes to stretch my legs you go on ahead okay what have you been eating all this time i imagine imagine it probably would be like mres or something what have you been eating all this time I found a crate full of Chef Mike's spicy raccoon meatballs. I don't know what's more concerning. That you ate Mike's food or that Chef Mike's meatballs come in different flavors. Wow. I'm going to regret asking this, but what other flavors are there? There are over 1,000 different flavors in existence. But my favorites are Route 66 Roadkill meatballs and Chef Mike's meatless meatballs. What? Wait, 
are those chefs my chef mike's meatless meatballs even real meatballs are those chef mike's meatless meatballs even real meatballs curious well, about this they don't contain enough meat to classify as meatballs so so why call them meatballs in the first place why not just cut <laughs> why not just mike's balls seriously who writes these things <laughs> <laughs> what would you know about script writing that joke's gonna win me an award you'll see not while working on this game it won't whoa wait are you firing me Please escort this Dingleberry out of the building so we can continue. Thank you. Was no one supervising these fools? Uh, yeah, about that. Supervising the script writing team was, uh, your job, sir. Oh, really? Then you're fired too! Damn! Chop chop, back to work! I need a better line right now! <clears throat> sir, I think that was the last remaining script writer you just fired. It was? Oh, well, uh, how good are you at writing? As good as I am at mopping. Well, that's good enough. You hired. <laughs> ah, crap baskets. Okay. Well. Damn. He just fought. He, he just he just fired all the all the riders. What the what the blazes are? Route sixty six roadkill meatballs. What the blazes are? Route sixty six roadkill meatballs. It would take too long to explain, so I shall give you a taste instead. I'm sorry, what? There's no way I'm eating that. Wait, no, keep that can away from me! I don't... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. oh, crap, they're good! <laughs> more! I want more! I am sorry, Betty. That was the last can. <laughs> I said more! Calm down, Betty. Hmm, meatballs seem to be your go-to meal these days, huh? Yes. Why? B wait, you wouldn't... Betty, put that spoon down. Please, I'm sure we can find... Oh, <laughs> what's going on? What is this? Did she turn into a monster? Hmm, did Nancy leave already? Uh, oh my gosh, she she ate her. What? That's wild. And I had another dialogue option with her too. Okay, well I guess we can leave. I don't think we can do anything else here. Let's get out of here. We ate the Russian spy. Yeah, she was full of meatballs. Um. Okay, so I gotta go down here now. So I have the protect protection equipment required to use this minecart. Protective equipment. All right, um, let's see. Let's go ahead and put this on. Slightly less unsafe, check. Almost as dangerous, check. 100% fun, super check. Hi, I'm Betty Anderson. Welcome to Jackass. Oh man, a Jackass reference. Yeah, that show was so funny when it came out. I remember one of the characters in Jackass he stapled his butt cheeks together and then another dude shoved a toy car up his butt and, and, and then he went to a doctor and the doctor got really mad at him after that fall Betty was lucky to be alive however more dangers lurk inside the mine. Okay, where are we now? Damn, looks like I lost my stuff while I was falling. Ugh, oh, is that a gravity. dead guy? Oh, what the? Hello? 
Eliza, if you're reading this, it means I'm dead. The good news is that I managed to find the plutonium core. The bad news is that I was exposed to a lot of radiation. I know I won't be walking out of here. They've been looking for me. I hear them fly by every day. That's why I blocked the exits and hid the core. It should be safe from them until you find it. But just in case they get here first, I'm hiding the location in a riddle. I was king in times of old, but now my bones lie white and cold. My teeth and claws rent flesh to the bone, a power only the stars could dethrone. Once you find the core, give it to Dr. Dixon. She'll know what to do with it. And no matter what you do, do not trust anyone else with this information, especially not Hartman. Please, don't blame yourself. There's nothing you could have done to save me, but you can still save everyone else. My dying wish is for you to take care of my newest friend, Nibbles. We found each other in this mine, lost, alone, and away from home. She's kept me company in my final moments. Don't be jealous. You're still my favorite predator. Maybe we'll meet again in the great airfield in the sky. I love you, Ellie. P.S. I have one final confession to make. I never voted for you. That was one thing I couldn't do in good conscience. I know you'll find it in your heart to forgive me. But I understand if you kick my corpse a little bit. <laughs> love, Lincoln. Oh, so that's Lincoln. Well, forget searching for Lincoln. He was here all along. Oh, well, we found him. Probably shouldn't tell mom that last part. Anyway, let's find whatever he hid and deliver it to Dixon. And I guess that's his pet right there. Geiger the bird. That would be disrespectful. Let the dead rest in peace. Geiger the bird. Someone made sure he wouldn't sing ever again. <laughs> okay, well, let's see. Can we pick up the letter? A letter written by Lincoln Porter, signed by Lincoln Porter, next to the body of Lincoln Porter. This has Lincoln Porter's hand all over it. Yeah, it sure does. Eliza, if you're reading this, okay. they, that's what well, my, we're... My, please, there's my, we've, she's going, me, I know, but I love. All right. All right, what else can we do? Um. That would be disrespectful. Let the dead rest in peace. Okay, let's see what we can pick up around here. Piece of metal. Can we pick that up? All right, and there's a... Oh, that's that's our crash minecart. Okay, and... What's that there? Is that a mine? Uh, diamond? Let's see if I can pick that up. Diamond. Okay, I'll take that. Hey, this is my diamond. You better keep your filthy eyes off it, capiche? Mwah! My lovely ticket to a luxurious penthouse on the Upper East Side. Okay, so we actually have a diamond. Okay, and we have a blocked exit here. Can't go this way. Uh, oh, I didn't even see this guy over here. He's holding a detonator. He worked himself to death. Literally. Wait, is he holding a detonator? That's a weird way to die in. Let's pick up this detonator. A detonator? It would be a shame if it fell into the wrong hands. Okay, let's... Let's hey, take what this. you got there, Willie? Mind if I call you Willie? I didn't think so. You wouldn't mind if I took a look at it, would ya? If anybody thinks I shouldn't grab this, speak now or forever hold your peace. Great, I'll just take this. Wait, Willie, where are you going? Oh, there's the cat again. Willie! Are you alright, Willie? Poor cat. Please, Willie, say something! Willie, no! Willie! I'm sorry, Willie! I'm 
so sorry. Willie! I'm fine. It's okay. Let's keep trying to find the exit. It's what Willie would have wanted. Oh, uh, okay. I'm not sure why she named that guy Willie. Rhino Co. Mining. Superior grade tarp. Indestructible. How can a tarp be so thick? Okay, workplace rules. Let's read this. Rhino Co. Mining. Workplace rules for employees. Dying inside the mine is absolutely forbidden. Failure to comply will result in immediate termination. What can I say? Motivation at its finest. <laughs> If you die, you get fired. Okay, what do we have over here? We see a something. What is this? Is this a claw? Whatever this is, it's as sharp as a butter knife. Oh, okay. So we have a claw now. Oh, let's take Since a look at this. Since it seems we're gonna be stuck in here for a while, the least you could do is light a fire. So we're going to need to find a way to light that, I'm I'm assuming. What else can I look at? Oh, what's this up here? Without more light, I can't tell what that is. Okay, so we got to light that fire pit to see whatever this is. What's over here? Inscription and gems. Those perfectly placed shiny rocks can't be the work of nature alone. Is this like a puzzle or something? Seems like it. Let's read this. Dear Sir Rockington, Once we were inseparable, bound not just by blood, but Envy's grip was tight and I wanted everything you had. Why did you bask in sunlight while I was lost in dark darkness? As I cried, I looked to the sky for forgiveness, but it was too late for me and for you. Now away from the light, you must remain trapped in this mind forever and the day. Goodbye, brother. Sincerely, Sir Rockington, the rock formerly known as Sir Peppleton. Okay, so let me see. So yeah, this is going to be a puzzle. Um. Okay. So I think the words in here are going to be references to like colors. So blood's probably going to be red. That's going to be in the first line. Envy's grip was tight and I wanted everything you had. Why did you bask in sunlight while I was lost in the darkness? So those, those might be two colors. Let's take a look here. I think we gotta I think we gotta push the ruby first. Let me see. Okay. So I, I guess this is gonna be the sunlight. Opal Sapphire. Let's take a look at it at it again. Why did you bask in sunlight while I was lost in darkness? Okay, I'm just gonna look at my notes for this one. Um oh okay. So it's going to be, I think it's going to be red, green, yellow, white, and then blue. Nope, I was wrong. Okay. So red, I guess yellow. Yellow, red, yellow, blue. Green. No, red, yellow, bl blue. Let's 
Let's see if that works. Red. Yellow. Blue. Will this work? Okay, let's try that again. What if I just go in a circle? Huh. Now, is this going to work? No. Okay. So, yeah, I think the first one's going to be red. But Envy's grip was tight. And I wanted everything you had. Why did you bask in sunlight while I was lost in darkness? As I cried, I looked to the sky for forgiveness. So that's going to be blue. Now away from the light, you must remain trapped in the mind forever and a day. I think... I think blue is going to be the last one. Red. Green. I guess I'll go with this one. I must have wrote it down wrong. Let me check my notes again to double check. Okay, so let me see. It's going to be Ruby. Emerald. Citrine. Sapphire. And then Opal. Okay, there we go. That's the answer to the puzzle. What is that? Okay, let's take a look at that. Sharpening stone. A sharpening stone! Restoring sharpness, one blade at a time. I want okay, so can I sharpen this? Something blunt. Okay, that worked. And I got what is this? Something sharp. Shaped like a banana, but its edge rivals the sharpness of a katana. Okay. So I think I can cut this thing now. Let's see what's behind here. This thing cuts almost as deep as mom's words. Oh. This one cut wonder sliced through the tarpaulin like butter. Goodbye, super sharp thingy. Um, I don't think it's a good idea to give Betty TNT. But she, she has it. Trinitrotoluene. Perfect for mining, demolition, and baptism in blood. Warning, fuse shorter than Frank Cooper's. Well, that's distressing. Yeah, that, that, that is not good. Frank has a, Frank has a temper. Or Angelo. Okay, what's this? A cord. Does this cord smell of gunpowder to you? Okay, I'm seeing what I'm supposed to do. So... I think I gotta blow something up. Let's go up here. I wonder who put that puzzle there. It's kind of strange to have a puzzle like that down here in the mine. I can feel a breeze coming from here. This is my way out. Now I just need to clear it. 
Okay, so let's see. Let's use this TNT. I can taste freedom from here. I'm gonna be leaving this cave with a bang. Oh yeah. Literally. And let's use this cord. Let's put some distance between us. So she seems like she knows what she's doing. I'm not sure why Roscoe didn't Check trust her set. with explosives. Now I just need to wire up a detonator and we'll be ready. Okay. And let's wire up this cord. Freedom. TNT. Freedom, check. here we come. Wire, check. Detonator, check. This is the best day of my life. What the? Uh, maybe it takes a minute. <sighs> I, you know what? I, that probably wouldn't okay, be very me. smart That's doing that. <laughs> so, I lost my memory. My best friend's a jerk. My mom doesn't love me. The mafia tried to off me. And as if that wasn't bad enough, a sea monster almost ate me in the freaking desert. But it doesn't stop there. I got electrocuted fixing the power, and no one even thanked me. And now I'm trapped in this deep, dark mine with only the corpse of my mom's boyfriend as company, whose underwear you made me touch. Oh, and let's not forget about his pet piranha because I'm bound to run into it here. Man, who the heck has a pet piranha? And the cherry on top of all of this, you try to get me killed whenever you have the chance. Wow, that actually helped a lot. <laughs> I feel better now. Thanks for listening, pal. You're always there for me. But I still don't forgive you for making me jump off that cliff. Oh, well, I mean, I, that was a funny scene. Oh, okay, okay, so we got an achievement for that. Witness it, witness Betty's tantrum. Or me meltdown, whatever you want to call it. Okay, let's see what we got down here. So we got to figure out how to get up here. Because uh, the walkway's blown up. On the bright side, I won't die from lack of oxygen. On the not so bright side, I'll starve to death. Okay, um, that. Take a look at this. A box of flares, a reliable source of shiny and heat for those lost in deep dark caves, like me. Okay, let's pick that up. Oh, this must be uh, Lincoln's pet. First the mosquitoes, and now a piranha. What's next, vampires? <laughs> I was freaking kidding! Ooh, ooh. Wait, is that Lorraine's pigeon? Nah, it can't be. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, yes, it, is. it is. That was a hamburger. Pigeon just threw a Good hamburger job, at dude. the piranha. Now get me out of here. I'm too heavy? Well, that's not very... Oh, looks like he's going to get help. He's going to get help, right? I hope so. I hope so, Betty. So let's go. So now with that we have flares. Oh, no, we don't. We don't have flares. We gotta pick it up first. I'm getting ahead of myself. Now Looks we have like flares. One of them is usable. Better not waste it. Extremely flammable. Keep out of reach of children, people attracted to shiny things, and <laughs> moths. Use only in open spaces. Don't use for cooking. Like, that's oddly specific. Okay. So. Let's run back over here to this fire pit. And let's use the flare on it. Oh, wow. 
what is uh, what's that uh, oh that's what it's a t-rex i have made fire <laughs> Macaroni! Don't eat me, please! I've been a good Betty, I promise! Whew, it's already dead. Okay, Jurassic Scare. Meet the dinosaur in the depths. It's another achievement. Um. You're scary, girl, but your dental plan must really be terrifying. Wait a minute. What's that inside your mouth? Oh, there's something in, in its mouth. Um. Let's see. So the only thing I have here is this piece of metal. Time for your dental appointment. I wonder what's inside the mouth. Plutonium core. This is the radioactive plutonium core Lincoln hid in the mine. Lincoln, I promise you, your efforts won't be in vain. Okay, let's pick this up. So that's where the core was this whole time. I hope he closed the lid properly. I like shiny, but I don't want to go shiny, if you catch my drift. Anyway, I should get this to Dixon like the letter said. The only problem is, how the heck am I going to get out of here? Ooh, wait a minute. There's one thing I haven't tried. What's that? God, oh. it's <laughs> me, Betty. I know we don't talk much, but... If you can get me out of this, I swear I will never, ever, 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 Betty! Are you okay down there? Never mind. <laughs> Roscoe? What kind of mess did you get yourself into this time, girl? Uh, it's a long story. I'm sure it is. Come on, let's get you out of there. Oh, before I forget. Mwah. You will go into my secret pocket where nobody will be able to find you. Ever. Um, did we even need to pick up that diamond? I don't think we even need to pick that up. Thanks, Roscoe. We're finally for a free. There, I thought I was gonna keep Willie company for eternity. Who? Never mind. How did you know where to find me? I heard your little tantrum all the way from the farm. I thought you might be hurt, so I came to investigate. You're lucky this wasn't another prank, or I'd have you mucking out the stalls for a week. Thank you so much, Roscoe. I promise I won't prank you again tonight. <laughs> Any sign of your mom? Not yet, but I found this. What in the good lord's name is that thing? I don't know, but it must be pretty important if it cost Lincoln his life. You telling me that that Lincoln fella's dead? Yeah, it looks like he sacrificed himself to keep it safe. It's always the good ones. I know, but we'll have time to cry for him later. Right now, we have more important stuff to do. I have to go back to town and find Miss Dixon. She'll know what to do with this thing. All right, kid. When are we leaving? With that modified Shelby engine you plugged into my tractor, we'll be there in no time. Thank you, Roscoe, but I think it's better if you stay away from town. I have the feeling things are about to get messy. All right. You gotta do what you gotta do, kid. You best take care of yourself, you hear me? You might be the sorest, darnest, itchiest pain in the butt, but you are my favorite pain in the butt. I'd really hate to see you get hurt. I'll be fine, I promise. Plus, your speech just gave me a great idea involving itching powder. Don't push your luck, kid. All right, I'd better get going. See you, Roscoe. All right. Miss so... Dixon, I need your help. How may I be of assistance, Betty? I found Lincoln. He's dead. <laughs> he had this letter with him. It mentioned something you about sound so happy about that. falling into the wrong hands. Lincoln said you'd know what to do with it. You did the right thing bringing this to my attention, Betty. We will now take the core to the base. And as for you, you are overdue for re-examination. Wait, what? Take her away. 
Oh no. So, is that her thanks for finding her plutonium core? We just get re-examined? There's only one soldier. This should be easy. Oh. Hey, you! Soldier! You can't treat me like this! I know my rights! You have the right to re-examination. Now, remain silent and do not get yourself in a bigger pickle than you are in right now. Okay, plan B. Hey, you! I gotta go to the bathroom! Negative. It is not your scheduled time for this activity. But I really, really need to go! Your attempts at deception are unconvincing. Remain silent. Crap baskets! This might not be as easy as I thought. Okay, so let's see. Can I... Hmm. Can I threaten him? Ask nicely, Bag. Let's try to bribe him. I don't have much, but you can have my jacket. It has yeah, really these people in the pockets. military, pro they probably don't get paid Desist. a whole lot. We have already been briefed on your usual tactics. You have no means to escape from us. What are you talking about? I'm pretty sure that... Damn it. Aw, oh, crap. It's a constrictor knot. I'm doomed. Hey, buddy, listen to me. We only have one shot at this. Go to your kitchen, bring me a knife. The studio does not recommend assisting Betty at this time. We are not responsible for any damages incurred during this segment of the game. Hey, you stay out of this. Where were you when I got caught, huh? <laughs> Nothing to say for yourself, eh? Fine, keep it that way. Hey, you, soldier. Just wait until your boss finds out I'm here. He doesn't want me on this base. He'll be pissed. On the contrary, he will be pleased we apprehended you. Now, please remain still. He shall be with you shortly. Oh, so... Yeah, I, I think the I think the general, the general's controlling all these people with his mind or something. Um, let's take a oh, let's look at this di Ooh, dirt. A pile of dirt! I've been waiting for this moment my entire life. Yar, time to dig out me booty. Okay, what else do we have here? Important looking crate. I'd love to, but my hands are tied. Okay, it doesn't look like we can look at anything. Casino maker, ten thousand. Ten thousand. We'll blow up anything in a one-mile radius, along with Mike's diner, whether it's in the blast radius or not. Commissioned by Eliza Barrett. <laughs> Warning: Keep away from Betty Anderson at all costs. Then why is it here? And why are we tied up near it? Ooh, a pile of dirt. Yar. Okay, let's see what's under here. Diary. Wait, that's mom's. Why would she bury a diary in the desert? After seeing those underpants earlier, I'm not sure I want to know more of her secrets. Ah, who am I kidding? Let's read it. All right, and that's the end of the chapter. Road to re-election. So this is chapter three. At least according to Steam. Election season has arrived again. <laughs> Look, now I'm not trying to sell you anything you don't already want. This was an excellent year for the Barrett administration, as always. But even I must admit there were some minor setbacks. <laughs> Tell me, now how many times has this happened to you? That you're lounging around? The closing of the radio station, for example. That was not good for my image. Oh, you know what? Because I really like this town, I am prepared to offer you. And I only have a little more than a month to make that final push for votes. That way, if any evildoer tries to come through that door... Last thing I need is some last-minute surprises. Oh, what the heck? Seeing as it's you, I'll let you have up to 4% off. Yes, yes, Mr. Harvey. Your vacuum cleaner sound lovely. Uh, uh, actually, it's, uh, it's Hardy? 
A Laszlo hot? Now, if you do not oh, mind, it's Laszlo. I am very busy preparing for my upcoming campaign. Uh, okay, Miss Mayor, uh, I, uh, I understand. Well, you know, I'll, uh, I'll be in town all week, should you wish to discuss upgrading your This must system. take place, like, in the past. <laughs> mm hmm If I need some liniment, I shall let you know. Goodbye, Mr. Humphrey. Uh, actually, it's... Uh, thank you, ma'am. Now, getting back to my campaign. I suppose it is past time to introduce myself to those businessmen from Chicago. Our conversation about their political stance is long overdue. Also, I should swing by the church. Make sure that Father Jenkins and his flock are not shifting their allegiances last minute. Okay, and it looks like we play as Eliza now. Interesting. Okay, well, I'm going to call it there for this stream. Let's go ahead and drop a save. We can save there. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. I'll be back next week to play more of Three Minutes to Midnight. Uh, make sure to help me out by liking and subscribing to my YouTube channel. Follow my Twitch channel. And uh, I hope you guys have a great re rest of your weekend. Bye-bye.